Hello shiny people, and we're on number three. Oh, Scrappy's on a run, he's going. So we're in a cave, um, and we're not gonna be in a cave long, because uh, you know we don't need to be in a cave. We are shiny hunting for that little blue guy up in the top corner. Uh, oh, you're a cryogonal, I don't want you. Who have I got with me? Who's with me? Oh, Rillaboom, hi there. Um, so we are shiny hunting for that gorgeous boy. We have got 100 encounters in so far, well 103. We get the encounters box up real quick. Well, that's perfect. I want it just. I want to keep it there. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. I don't know why I'm saying it like that, but I am. That's how we're saying it today. So I want to double check that we're on. Oh, we're actually on 105. I'm a numpty. I'm a numbs numbskull, poop butt, and all those nice, lovely words that I've just said. Okay, so we're gonna jump in with the. Oh, my word. I'm not doing very well today. <laughs> uh, we're gonna jump in with that. Uh, that is going to blind people, I think. I really hope it doesn't. I'll have to ask people once we get them in the chat. Um, but we're going to go back and we're going to hunt for some more of this guy whose name I cannot say, and I'm not going to keep trying to say it because I just sound stupid when I try to say it. So <clears throat> saying that. Um, I'm going to go on the map and fly over there because I always get... I don't know how I do this. I always get lost going from here. Wait, all you have to do is go up here, over here, around here, and then down here. But I always manage to get lost. So we're just going to fly over there. Flying is so much easier. And I'm already on the mobile dashboard. Twitch, shut up. Stupid Twitch! Ah! Um, but yeah, we're gonna do this for a while. We're gonna shiny hunt for his 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 babies basically. Or her babies. I don't know what I don't know if that's male. Or female. But um, we're gonna shiny hunt for, for those babies. And if we can find the shiny baby, then uh, all will be well. And we'll probably do some Dynamax raid adventures. I'm gonna get these watts on here because why the heck did he not? Uh, how is my party? And have I got the right? Yes, you're in the right place. In fact, while no one's in the chat, I am going to jump over. I'm going to jump back to where I just was, basically, because I've just realised I can heal the whole team and make this entire adventure a little bit easier on us. So, hi there. Restore my Pokemon! Give them life again! Or something like that. 
Um, I don't know how well you can see that light in the background either. I can see it pretty well from, from where I'm sitting. Ah! From where I'm sitting, but I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean you guys can see it well from your end of the screen, so we will have to look into that. There we go. So fly back to where we just were. There we go, I've got an itch on my nose. Grab a pulp, how are you? Ah! And back down here we go. Hey, Warren. All the mons are out today. Well, uh, So, I didn't need to heal up Maraxxus per se. Uh, but it does give me increased chance of water sport. Jesus. Oh, Jesus, it's a pack. There's a lot of Lapras around. If I, is, is today not a day where I can get... I'm just going to catch more. Reply to my comment. What did I say? I have no idea. Good lord. Oh, right. I'm just going to reply to my man here. Okay, you just you just decide what you're doing, Scrappy. Right, there we go, so and all that. Sam, so, where I need to go on the town map then and check, not the town map, the uh, Pokedex and check, because we might not be able to get him to spawn today, so, no, he does spawn, he does spawn, and we've, yeah, yeah, so he should spawn on here. I don't know if maybe it's just, like, there's a better chance of Lapras spawning then, due to the weather conditions, um, oh, I don't want to do it. Magneton Raid. We've got a ton of Whalmer as well. It's a shame I've already shiny hunted Whalmer and got two. I'm sorry. Me so sorry. Hey, Lapras. We might have to change and do one. There we go. Got one. Itchy, yes. Yeah. There we go. So they do spawn here today, which is, which is great. So obviously we can continue to hunt for these. Because um, I, I do want to do this, actually. It's a really cute shiny. Go with Leaf Storm. It's just a pain in the backside that some of them have Sturdy, but that one didn't have, so I can't show you that they have Sturdy. But they do have Sturdy, and it's a pain in the backside. Um, but, yeah. There we go. Connecting. Thank you for connecting. Keep having to stop myself from doing the posh British thing where I've got my pinky up. There's another one. There we go. We're getting them now. We're getting them now. Ow. Oh, this is going to be uncomfortable. Top my back just keeps pinching me. We'll get there. See, there. That, that's sturdy. It's a pain in the bum. Need to breathe this up a bit so my feet aren't as. Oh. I'm not as quick jumping up as I thought I'd be. There we go. Just so my feet aren't like dangling down so much and makes life a little bit easier for me. At least this time we don't have to deal with the hail. I think that's going to help a little bit. Although the hail would have knocked him out then, so. Six of one, half dozen of the other. Um, I need to angle this. Oh, crap. Angle that a bit differently. So you can still see me fine. Hey, we got someone in the in the viewers. Uh, so you can still see me fine, but it also looks down a little bit more. Oh, there's another one. 
So I'm going to have to pull myself closer now. Because there we go. Whew. Hello, viewer. How are you doing? Hope you're well. We have just kick-started getting back into the hunt for Shiny Turtle Boy. Because I can't say his name properly. Um, and every time I try, it just sounds ridiculous. Like we would say in Harry Potter. We know it's hailing. That's weird. That makes no sense. Well, Shell Smash is... Sm shell sm I can't say that. Shell Smash isn't going to help you very much with hail. Uh, I've just realised there's going to be like double audio on this thing because I'm... Listen, I've just realised... Why can I hear it through the screen? Because I have it switched to my headphones. Because I'm a nutty. That's why. Well, underneath the wire. That way, oh, actually, no, put it over the wire. Otherwise, I'm going to catch the wire every time I try and do an encounter. Uh, there's another one. There we go. We're getting more and more of them now. Which is much better. Ow. Da -da -da. Da -da. Everything seems to be working fine. Everything seems to be going. Cool. And this one's got sturdy as well. Luckily for us, the hit. That, that's why the hail is helpful, because obviously it knocks it out on that last little bit of health. But I also have Storm Drain, so it tries to hit the water move again. It does do us a lot of health. The hail does damage Maractus quite a lot, though. Which isn't great. Right, I'm going to just... Floating out in the air, why not? Nope. Any more over here? Hello! Look at you! Nope. I'm hoping we can get this one well under odds today, because that would be, be great. Because today, we have got these... Nah, these, we've got these to open! Said Arnold Schwarzenegger, apparently. I wouldn't quote him on that if I were you, because like, I don't know if he said that, but we have got these to open. We've got this Fairy Rise, and we've got Forbidden Light, which I cannot wait to crack into. I'm probably going to keep, I'm probably going to open the uh, Fairy Rise first, mostly on the fact that the shop that I got these, these boxes from has actually already sold out of the Forbidden Light boxes. So, I'm in sort of a limbo at the minute. I don't know whether to save the Forbidden Light until I can get more of them, because... Uh, I'll be honest, the, the boxes, like, the packaging themselves is pretty pristine, like, it's really, they're really well kept, they're obviously, they obviously stored them really well and look after them really, really well, so it's really impressive, um, just on that, basically, and, I mean, don't get me wrong, they'll probably have more Japanese Forbidden Lights in, maybe in a month or two or something like that, I don't know, but I kind of wouldn't want to take the chance so I don't know. I'm sort of in, sort of in the air. Once we get more people in and we've got more viewers in here, then we might discuss that and see where we want to go with it. But for now, I'm sort of, I'm on the rope about opening. I'm definitely going to open the Fairy Rise because I've seen so many people open this set and have so many nice cards in the Japanese set, and it, it's actually something I would like to start collecting. I'm only 66 cards away from completing my um, Tag Team Sun and Moon on Broken Bond set, which I would love to complete. So I'm looking into getting some of that, or I'm gonna I'm gonna reach out to some people I know who have got quite a lot of those cards, um, and see if they've got any of the spares that I need, uh, and maybe do it that way with them. See if they'd be willing to trade me them for something. I don't know. Um, okay. But I would like to start making a com like a, a complete set of sort of like a certain Japanese sets. Like Fairy Rise is one of them. Shining Star V is one of the sets that I want to try and get complete. Sadly, you can only get those in boxes of ten, so you can get you get ten packs, but it's like a it's a full pack. Whereas this is thirty packs, five cards a pack. Um, and I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but like comparatively to like the the English sets, there's a lot less cards in the Japanese sets, so. I think with this set and all of its like secret rares, there's only 70 cards, 72 cards in the set, whereas the English equivalent to them, there's like 100 plus. So, and it's the same for the Unbroken Bonds tag team cards. There's, there's the 
quite a lot in that set completed in the English variant, but in the Japanese variant, there's not that many. I think maybe about 64, 65 uh, cards for the complete set in the Japanese variant. Oh, oh, that feels better. You might hear me crack my neck a lot tonight, uh, just because I'm having a lot of problems in the back of my neck, a lot of pressure, and then it really hurts and it gets really stiff. And the only way I found of relieving that is to just gently crack it on one side to the other. Um, which obviously, in the long term, isn't good for me either, but it's not going to kill me. <laughs> yep. Uh, I'm going to search the grass on here, just in case. Seal, go away. Seal, 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 seal. Hey, Kabalio. He's just chilling. He's just roaming the land, like, yo. There we go. I'll take you, and there's another one just to the side of you. Fingers crossed we can get it really early, because um, we're only doing a three-hour stream tonight, so normally I'd do about a four, four-and-a-half-hour stream. Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday will be a three-hour stream, seven till ten, and then, obviously, after uh, after Thursday, we'll be doing Friday, Saturday, where we do a four-hour stream, which will be from half-past nine in the evening till half-past one in the morning, uh, which I think will be really fun. And then Sunday and Mondays are rest days, but you can check out the stream schedule now on my Twitch, on my Instagram, and on my TikTok. It's all over the place. It's everywhere. I've plastered it on every surface I can. I've just been going around the town with stickers of it. Just have this! I haven't been doing that. would be crazy. I imagine I'm probably going to arrest it and walk around slapping people in the face with stickers with my stream schedule on it. Anyway, some people might respond to that. Like, oh, cool, I watch. Like, how? You haven't seen the schedule. It's on your face! But yeah, there's that. Oh, stop having sturdy. You don't need sturdy, guys. Just die. In a nice way. We were, I was going to egg hunt this originally, um, but last uh, last stream, uh, my viewers convinced me that we could we should do it in the wild, so we're wild hunting it. We're wilding. Whatever that means. I heard people say it on TikTok, and that, that, that's it now. Because TikTok is my life now. That's all I know. TikTok and food. Rio Games, hello! How are you doing? I hope you are well. And I hope you are excited and sticking around so we can open the... I'm very excited. I've managed to restrain myself for four, nearly five hours today uh, when I picked up the parcel. Uh, not to open these already, like the off till in the factory seal. I don't know if you can see that on the side. They're still in the factory seal. Not been opened. And I'm chomping at the bit to open them but i thought we'll do it we'll do an hour we'll do an hour or two of the stream uh, and then we'll get into opening these i'm good thank you had a lot of problems with my back lately um last two nights i've been i heard one ah there you are uh, <laughs> last two nights i've been a bit out of commission uh, due to back pain and a few problems with that and a few headaches um but i am um, up to my neck in painkillers right now, so fingers crossed I should be fine. Um, there we go. But yeah, so last couple, last couple of days have been a bit like meh, but tonight's hopefully going to be a lot. Damn thing, having sturdy, going to be a lot better. As I say, I'm really excited to do these. Hence why I've sort of, you know, capsized myself on the uh, pain medication just so I can sort of sit upright for a few hours and open these with you guys. And Scrappy's on an adventure. Hey, nice Scrappy. He's going on an adventure. Hopefully we should have some more people in. I know there are a few people who have been looking forward to tuning in and seeing this box break with me. So hopefully we'll have some more people tuning in soon. My dad has always struggled with back pain. It, yeah, it's... People think it's something that only happens to people in like their older age, like 40s, 50s and 60s. It happens to everyone, man. It happens to all of us all the time. And it's just an unfortunate thing you've got to deal with. Um, obviously, I hope your dad's okay. I mean, I don't know if he takes pain medication for it or if he sees a doctor, like a physio or anything like that. Um, for me, I just take basic pain meds and I've just got to keep taking them to keep the pain at bay. Um, but yeah, I hope he's okay and he, you know, he gets on with it all right. But yeah, sadly, it's just one of those things, man. It uh, doesn't matter what age you are, it will come to you no matter what. Ooh. Well, I'm sitting so upright and I'm not trying. I'm trying my best not to slouch in my chair because if I do, then I'll, I'll just 
see what she's got to do. Energy ball to the face. She's good right now, but it's uh, that is back a lot. Yeah, that could be another issue. My dad used to have that problem a lot uh, when uh, I was uh, a bit younger. When I, was in my, when I was in my teens, he used to do it a lot because uh, you know, when he was younger, he used to be a blacksmith, and so that took its toll on his body. And then when he got into his 30s and 40s, every now and then he just out of nowhere picking up something simple, like you know picking up something off the floor, he'd throw his back off, and yeah, not nice. But luckily, uh, there's a lot of different things out there you can take for it. There's a lot of different, like um, not. Um, not like normal pharmaceuticals, what's it called? Um, homeopathic remedies you can take. And they actually do work a lot of the time for back pains and things like that. Anyway, I've noticed. Um, come on, turtle boy, where are you? Where art thou, small turtle? And, uh, yeah, it's actually quite surprising. For other things, for like major things, I wouldn't suggest medis uh, homeopathic medicine. Uh, but, yeah, for back pains and stuff like that, it definitely does. Where have all the turtles gone? Good lord, have we killed all the turtles? <gasps> Get the plastic straws out the ocean now! That's a little bit too much of a stretch. Let's see if I can pull this close without messing up the camera. You just got back into shiny hunting. What are you shiny hunting at the minute then? And, uh, they did, they did, did they? Words. Words and speech and things. What game are you shiny hunting on at the minute? I'm an idiot. Uh, I just started Heart Gold today, and I'm going to try uh, go for a full shiny. That is a dedicated idea. Uh, I, d I just did the same with my um, o uh, yeah Omega Ruby uh, with my Omega Ruby game, and I've completed the team. Uh, I'm just trying to shiny hunt for a um, shiny whaleman now to complete my whole team because I need a water type, obviously do the dive bits and things like that. Uh, Right now I'm going for the starter, I'm at 282 stuff reset. Okay, that's not too bad. It's a good way to go, obviously. I like on Heart Gold and Soul Silver, you can do, like, you can see it on the wheel. I think that's really good. Um, obviously, in the original games, you just had to do it and hope. But yeah, I like in the Heart Gold and Soul Silver remakes that you can do it on the wheel and... I don't know, it just makes it a bit easier. I might, I, I'm thinking for the new remakes, for the uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shiny Pearl remakes, the, sh the starters are probably going to be shiny locked like they are in this game. Uh, and you'll just have to egg hunt them, which would be a bit of a bummer, but I, like obviously with this game, you can't... Well, with any any Switch, any Nintendo Switch game, uh, and you get a free shiny Gyarados. Oh, of course, yeah, you get the Lake of Rage Gyarados. I always forget about him. Always forget about him. God bless Lake, Lake of Rage Gyarados. Um, but yeah, with the obviously any Nintendo Switch game, you can't soft reset the console to achieve like whatever your goal is. So if you're shiny hunting for a, a particular shiny, whether it's the legendary or so, or so what, um, or you know, doing I don't know any other games that would require you to soft reset them. No, uh, but yeah, basically you can't soft reset this console. So you have to do a hard reset, like shut down the game, reload the game, and then go into the encounter again and again and again, doing that same method. Like if I want, I've still, I've still got to do, uh, I've still got to do the Reggie's, um, Reggie Draco, and what's it, and obviously uh, uh, Reggie Gagas, but he was sort of included in the Reggie's. Um, the uh, the legendary Swords of Justice. I've still got all of those to do, and. Like, it's not like they're hard to shiny hunt, you just, so like, Cobolion's literally to my, to my right here, I can just, you know, turn around, go up to Cobolion, save next to, like, right next to him, and then just encounter him, switch off the game, encounter him. I'm scared I'm actually going to reset over a shiny, because it's just a habit of reset. I've done it before, mate, I've done it twice now. Um, I've been quite fortunate in my shiny hunting career to only have done it a few times, but I have done it. And it is scary because it is—it's like, the same with pressing the B button or pressing the A button when you're in it. Like if you're in a, like, you're in a battle or something, and you're just repetit repet re repetitively pressing the A button, and you end up attacking the shiny and killing it. Um, that can happen. Or I've seen people who do like the wild encounters and they just run away from a shiny because, like, luckily for me, I've literally got. So I've got this. This is where I'm pointing here now is the monitor where I'm, you know, watching the chat. 
watching all my audios, watching all my sort of feed and everything, and I've got the game in front of it. And then I've got my monitor literally up here, just a bit above me, um, on the wall. So I've got two screens. So I, I find it hard to see that I could miss the shiny. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm stupid, so it could still happen. Uh, I'm not the most, I'm not the brightest bulb in the box, but I, uh, I find it hard to believe I'd miss the shiny. But it could happen, and I could run away from a shiny. It happened last week, I think on Friday. I thought I'd run away from a shiny lunatone. Uh, no, I thought I'd kill the shiny lunatone, just sort of reading the chat and, you know, attacking, the, uh, attacking with my mon. I thought I'd kill the shiny lunatone, and the chat reassured me I didn't, and I watched it back, and I didn't. But it does, it sort of gets you in the heart like, oh, no! Uh, on Diamond Pill in the forest before when a girl goes with you, she killed my shot. Oh, man. Oh, man. And the thing is, she's got a Chansey, so it's so... Like, you can knock out her Pokemon, but it's so hard to do it. Oh, man, I feel... I've seen, like... I've seen a good ten different videos on YouTube of, of Shiny Hunters who have, like, done that method, like, Shiny Hunted with, um... What's her name? What's her, what's her name? The green-haired girl. Like, I know who you're talking about, but I can't remember her name. Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, where they're shiny hunting with her, like they're doing it in the forest. I wasn't even going for a shiny, I just found it going through the game. Well, that's the thing, like you can do that because obviously you've got double encounters, so you've got double the odds. Um, it's the same, it's why shiny hunting on this game is so good because you can do the Dynamax Raid Adventures and you've got four odds of finding a shiny. Like, we've never had that before in a Pokemon game where you've got four chances back to back to back to back of getting a shiny. Like, it's just, it's such a new thing for us. It's a, it's a great thing. I love it. Um, but yeah, she can kill the shiny as well. And it's just so heartbreaking because it's like, why? I wanted to catch that woman. Why'd you do this? And uh, yeah, her chance is a hard thing to knock out. Like, I've done it once before where I got... Because I think Chim if you're going to knock out her Chansey, Chimchar is the best to have. And I basically, I just trained and trained and trained to the point where it was already an Infernape. Like, it was fully evolved uh, by the time I got to that point. So, like, I was only like a Gym Badge in. Or so no, two Gym Badges in or something like that. And I already had a, a fully evolved starter. Just so I could knock out her Chansey while shiny hunting in that forest. Because I didn't want to take the chance that she would knock it out. Um, and that's the best one. If you're going for a shiny, obviously you weren't going for a shiny particularly, uh, but if you do do that hunt, uh, the be like I say, the best thing to do is just go in with a fully, evol a fully evolved Chimchar, because that way you can knock a Chansey out in one hit, and then it's all you, the battle is all you. Um, so I'm, pr I'm pretty sure fully evolved, it outspeeds and does more damage. Uh, I didn't even think about still her Chansey at the time, it was so on. Well, yeah, that's the thing. If you if you weren't hunting for it, like you said, you weren't actually looking for a shiny. It just happened. You wouldn't instinctively think that I should knock out her Chansey. Um, but the reason I do think that instinctively now is because before I even I didn't even think about shiny hunting there. And to be honest, until I'd really watched a lot more uh, a lot more videos about it on YouTube, I didn't even realise like it was that easy to do. So, like after watching about five or six different videos. So I just went hyper focused into that for a second. Then, uh, after about watching five or six videos, I realised like, yeah, if I'm going to do this hunt, I need to do it where she can't knock out the mon. Um, so basically, yeah, any time, any time I want to do that hunt with her, I'll uh, just get a fully evolved starter and knock out her mon. I'm actually trying to get a oh, shiny starter on Pearl, but it's so slow. It takes so long to go through all that dialogue with those people. But I hope. Well, it's not actually yet. It's a, it's a true to form remake, so it's not going to be shortened. Oh, when did it start raining? Uh, but as I said, I think they'll I think they'll they'll lock the start in the in the Diamond and Pearl remakes because, like I said, you can't soft reset, so it would just be too hard. Especially if you had to hard reset, start up the game, go through all the dialogue, pick your mon throw it out and then do it all over again until it was shiny. I think that would just be too much. Um, but I don't know. I'm not sure. I'd like them to, to let you be able to shiny hunt them, but uh, like I say, I think it would be too hard. 
I, uh, I think it would take too long to do. Because obviously, if it's, like I say, if it's a true to, well, it is a true to form uh, remake, so uh, I'm going through a bunch of Pokemon and re beating them, just randomly deciding to do this. I'm trying to hunt on how it goes today. Uh, I just beat Diamond yesterday, so I'm starting my next game. Okay. That's one way of breaking it up. What I've done, um, if you see there, I've actually got two accounts on my Switch. So sometimes, if I'm tired of shiny hunting on um, Pokemon Shield, I'll jump over to that second account, and I'll just play Pokemon Shield on that account, rather than shiny hunting or something like that. Uh, just to break it up for me, or sometimes I'll, you know, like just play a completely different game. Uh, I got Diamond, Heart, Gold, Black 2, Y, Ultra Moon to beat. I'd go for Ultra Moon, because obviously once you beat Ultra Moon... Ow. Um... Once you beat Ultra Moon, you get the Ultra Wormhole, um, and if you can complete the Pokedex, which is actually really easy on Ultra Moon, um, if you complete the Pokedex on Ultra Moon, it's really easy, it's really quick as well, actually. Uh, if you've got a couple of people you can trade with, especially. Uh, I think a friend of mine on Discord, he managed to complete his Ultra Moon Pokedex after the, the second like big island trial. So he still had two island trials to go, and he's already had a complete Pokedex, I already beat Diamond. Ultra Moon, I beat Ultra Moon, I beat Ultra Moon, I beat Ultra Moon, I beat Ultra Moon, I Ah, fair enough, fair enough. But that's a good, if you want to break up your, so if you're like, if you get tired of, like, shiny hunting on uh, Heart Gold, you can always break it up by doing some shiny hunting in the Ultra Wormholes, because you'll either find an easy shiny that's not a legendary, or you'll find a legendary and be like, well, we're going to stop reset for this, mother. Is it? Cool. But well, I got my shiny Lugia, Entei, Kyogre... Uh, Cresselia, Mewtwo, and something else. I want to say it was Giratina. I don't think it was. Uh, but I got all those through shiny hunting through Ultra Wormholes. And it is a lot of fun. Then I got Y3 because my brother had it and um, doesn't play it anymore. Y is a good game for shiny hunting on because it's so easy. It reminds me somewhat of... Um, Pokemon let's go Pikachu and Eevee because the shiny hunting on Pikachu and Eevee is just, it's too easy. Like, it, it li literally, after you've played the game and you've shiny hunted like five or six different mons on let's go Pikachu and Eevee, it's just, like, it gets boring because you just, you know how to do it so quickly and you can get a shiny like ten minutes into shiny hunting. Um, but why, why X and Y are kind of like that, like, it's not as easy, don't get me wrong, it's, you probably put a lot more time into it, but with horde hunting, and at the end of the game with radar hunting, you can do so much more. Jonas, how you doing, buddy? Oh! I was thinking about doing the void glitch on Pokemon Diamond to get darker, I shame in half, but I'm scared I might corrupt the game. Uh, oh, I need to I need to get the name again for you, but um, if you go on YouTube, there's a guy on YouTube who, do, who, who, who shows you how to do the void glitch. And literally every time he completes like a step of it, he'll tell you like pause pause the video here so you can like get to where you're going and you know catch up. Um, and he in the description even tells you like what to do at each step so you can. But he does it in it like it won't glitch your game basically. Like he does it in like the perfect way. Don't get me there is still like the smallest percentage chance that you might glitch it. Um, in fact, I think Jonas, you were here last time when we were showing uh, who was showing. Can't remember, we were showing somebody uh, the videos to, to do it with, basically. Uh, I'm I'm doing better, Jonas. I'm, I'm doing somewhat better. Um, my back is still uh, still quite sore, but I'm uh, I'm doped up on painkillers, so we can open this. So I'm really excited to open this tonight, and I have restrained myself for so many hours now, so we don't open it without you guys. Um, can you fly out of the void if you get lost? I think you just soft reset the game. I think it's been a while since I watched the tutorial, uh, Rio. So let me tell you what. You can't. Okay, no, there you go. So you can't. You can't fly out. You have to reset. Yeah. Um, so I think that's. Isn't that one of the ways that it glitches it, Jonas? If you fly out, then the whole game just ends up as a void or something. Or like the towns end up glitched. So. Like, don't get me wrong. If you, if you know your way around the game, then. Possibly you could play it glitch, but I don't know my way around the, uh, uh, it's just not possible, I think. Ah, uh, okay. That would make a lot of sense. 
any, anything I don't know about Pokemon, uh, Rio, Jonas definitely knows. So he'll tell you in the chat. Because uh, he, he basically fills in the gaps that I'm missing, especially on type advantages and things. Because for some reason I'm awful with types. Played Pokemon for 25 years. Still can't tell the difference between different typings. You know nothing. Got proper fat neck then. My neck can speak to you. Oh, a second round of pain calls is kicking in now. Oh, I've got a notification from Steam. No thanks, Steam. Uh, I'm going to try it later, even if it did get corrupted. It's not a big issue because I just been just beat the old thing and I don't have anything there. Well, that's fair enough. As I say, well, tell you what, let me find the guy on YouTube really quick. I, I try and remember these things, and I really need to start writing stuff down more while I'm streaming. Uh, but I'm terrible. Like, if I start multitasking, I really do start to lose focus on what I'm doing. Uh, so where the fudge is? Come on, turtles. I think we've killed a lot of the turtles, by the way, Joan. There's one. I think we've killed a lot of the turtles in the ocean. We might need to go and collect the plastic straws. Just saying. Um, load YouTube. I need to get closer, otherwise I'm going to bring that back. Are you doing it on diamond, did you say? Pokemon diamond. Just to make sure, because I don't want to give you the one for platinum. So I think they, I think they are technically the same, uh, but I think there are a couple of differences in how you do it. So here we go. Oh, I've just been hit by hail. Yeah, on down. Here you go then. So where's my Google page? Um, why is my Google page not showing up? There we go. Okay, so you can see here, this video here on Arceus, if you can see the name. No worries, Jonas. If you want to jump back in later, we'll be opening up this box. So you can watch us open up some cool cards later on. But uh, no worries, my man. Thanks for stopping by, Jonas. Uh, yeah, if you see this here, it's called... Uh, the guy's called Retire. And he basically just does a load of tutorials on how to do, like, like glitches and... Other things that you need to do. He's also got a couple of update videos on that on that one particular video. Uh, the John Stone one's pretty good, but I prefer the Retire one, the one just below it. Uh, let me get it back up again. So you've got John Stone at the top, and then you've got uh, so you've got John Stone up here, and then you've got Retire just below it. Uh, I prefer that one. Uh, I think it's a lot better. I uh, I think he just puts a lot more detail into the into the actual steps. And, uh, yeah, that's him. And uh, I think he just puts a lot more detail into the actual steps of the, the glitch, and it makes it a lot easier to do. Um, so if you go on his video and watch that, you should be able to do it without glitching your game, which obviously is the, prefer the preferred method here. Uh, I need the... Uh, Thank you. I need to put it up in that weird bit of a... That's the stream camera, you stupid thing. I love Darth Ray, he's my favourite Pokemon Pokemon. He is a really cool Pokemon, I think they introduced him really well. I, I think he was a really good addition into the game, because, like, we'd never had that kind of sort of weird darkness-style Pokemon before, where it, it was like, you know, he was very dark and grim and all that. Um, but obviously they introduced him and Cresselia, and Cresselia is meant to be like his opposite, and I think that was just a really clever thing. Because um, it sort of reminded me of Gen 2 with Umbreon and Espeon, like Umbreon was the dark, Espeon with the light, obviously psychic type, but more more of the lighter side of it, so I think that was really clever. Boop. We're not getting a lot of XP for these kills. Disappointing. The Algate is my number one Pokemon to then help you. Then Giratina. I don't know why I just love Gen 4 legendaries, but it might be as good as the game that got me into Pokemon. That's very true. I mean, I, I love Mew uh, as one of my top Pokemon. Um, but I have more. I have more fond memories of Gen Two because I was I was like I was two years old when I started playing Pokemon. So red, red and blue were the first games I played. But they aren't the ones that are freshest in my mind. I remember um, Gold and Silver and Crystal so much better because I was a bit older and I understood the games a lot better. Um, so, okay. uh, so 
so I remember that a lot more. And actually, my favorite Pokemon of all time became Entei because of it. Um, my second favorite Pokemon is Blastoise, but I just love Blastoise because everyone chooses either Charizard or Venus or Bulbasaur, obviously, because he's, you know, cute and bold. Um, but no one ever chooses Blastoise. My poor Squirtle gets left out. God bless him. So, uh, yeah, I just sort of fell in love with Squirtle as the most, is my favorite. Um, but I do find that to be the case a lot of the time. Like, the one you find freshest in your mind, so, like, for you as Gen 4, is the one you tend to love more, more of the Pokemon out of. Um, and if, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that when we got, uh, obviously, Gen 4 was when we got Lu uh, Riolu and Lucario. And, as well, we got, did we, we got Shink to look trade, didn't we? Uh, I started on Gen 4 and then me and my brother bought the Pokemon game and we come together all the way up to now. Prevet! Spicy Online! Prevet! I love that now that I know what it means. Great! How you doing? We've got some treats tonight. We've got these to open later on. We're going to be doing the... We're going to be doing this Tortuga hunt. And then uh, we're going to be opening up these boxes. So uh, stick around for that if you can. There we go. Uh, obviously, tonight is the shorter streams. So tonight and tomorrow are our shorter streams, where we do 7 till 10. And then Friday and Saturday, I've decided, will be the longer streams. Because obviously, Friday night, you know, everyone's done with the week and hopefully winding down just to have a relaxing time. And Saturday, most most people are still off and don't have anything to, you know, like don't have any serious work to do or schoolwork or college work. So I thought those would be the good two days to do longer streams. So they'll be the days where we do, like... No, that's better. Uh, the Friday and Saturday will be the days we do the four hour, four and a half hour streams. But tonight and tomorrow, they'll just be three hour streams from what was seven o'clock, we're nearly at eight o'clock now, uh, until uh, ten o'clock. So it's just three hours, seven till ten. And I think that's going to be a lot easier for a lot of people, hopefully. We'll see how it works out. Uh, obviously, if we do need to change the schedule, leave me a message on my... Uh, I put it on a post on Instagram, so just leave a comment or something on there. Leave a comment on that post and just say, you know what, these days don't really work that well for me because of this, and I'll try and adjust the schedule as best I can, uh, and we'll just see, you know, what works well for everyone. Ah, good, people are doing this. Good stuff. This is just a blue can, by the way. It has nothing inside it, it just has blue liquid. Hope to get a shiny Totodile, he would be my... Yeah, shiny Totodile's my favourite. Shiny Totodile, shiny Cyndaquil, then shiny Chikorita. Don't know why, don't have a lot of love for Chikorita. Even though that was the... When I originally, when I originally played Gen 2, that was the one I chose. I chose Chikorita as my, as my first choice in Gen 2. Um, but I don't love Meganium. Don't love it. Shiny Bulfix is adorable. I managed to get two of them on the... Um, Kanto Tour Day, but uh, didn't go great for me after that, to be honest. Um, kind of glad they're doing a makeup thing for it, but it's not a very good makeup thing. No, no, I'm going to get Chikori. Oh, don't say that. Don't say that, Rio. You're going to get Totodile, I promise you. Well, I shouldn't say I promise you because, because obviously, you know, I can't make those kinds of promises. I, I have psychic powers when it comes to guessing energy cards, but that's about it. So, I can't, I can't promise, promise it'll be Totodile. But I really, really hope it will, because that would be absolutely awesome. Uh, okay, for some reason. Uh, he wouldn't be horrible, though, because Gyarados will be my water type, and Ho-Ho will be my fire type. Yeah. And so, it catches me off. Every time somebody says Ho-Ho in the chat, Twitch seems to think you're saying something terrible, which you're not, um, but Twitch seems to think that's a bad word, ho-ho. Anyway, um, that would be good, yeah, because they would balance each other out well. Ooh, I didn't think you would knock him out so quickly. Oh, well. Um, I'm trying to think what I... I tend to try and get an Eevee shiny, but obviously that's a bit hard to get Gen 2. Um, I do need to get myself a copy of Heart Gold and Soul Silver again. I don't have them anymore. Uh, but I do need to get myself a coffee at some point, just because it would be nice to take that trip down uh, nostalgia. Uh, like right now, like I say, I'm playing Aorus a lot. Uh, I've got a copy of X or Y. I'm not 100% sure which one now I'm saying it out loud. Um, I can just leave the one on and don't put another one on. Um, 
I've got a copy of X or Y, I can't remember which. I've got my Diamond and Pearl, which I should spend more time shiny hunting on, but I don't, because it is just really hard. Take the long <laughs> Anyway, um, and that's it for the games that I've got at the minute. Obviously, I've got Pokemon uh, uh, Shield. I do need to get a copy of Sword as well. So I've got both. Like, I'm a weird collector like that. I like to have both of like. So if like if there's two versions of the same game, I'll still buy two, just because I'm that kind of weirdo. Um, nostalgia is what got me back into Pokemon. I was making a playlist of original games of original game music that I used to play. And it's amazing when I play Pokemon again. Yeah, I get that a lot of the time when I listen to it. I know this sounds really weird. Um, but when I, when I listen to Paramore, it reminds me when I first started playing my Xbox 360 and all the games I used to play. Um, and it really just pushes, it wants, it makes me want to play like the old Call of Duties, Fable, um, Forza, and all sorts of games. Because, it knows, those were all the games I was playing whilst having like Paramore and Fallout Boy and Blink 182 and all those sort of bands playing on the Xbox Music app. Back when you could actually have your music on a game console play at the same time as your game. I know, crazy idea, right? By the way, guys, just let me know that light at the back. I got that. Re I got that like literally uh, on Friday. Oh, hello, what was that noise? Oh, it's just you. Uh, I got that on Friday, and so because obviously I haven't streamed since. Fr uh, no, I got that Saturday morning. Cool. Um, since I haven't streamed since last Friday, I don't know how well this is going to work on stream. I don't know if when it turns to the bottom. It's going to blind you guys or not, because like when I turn here, you can still see it over my shoulder. So if it does blind you guys, or if it keeps hitting the camera and it keeps bugging you, let me know and I'll shut it off, because uh, sadly, it has got a few different controls. Like, I can I can stop it, and I can slow it down, I can make it flash and all sorts of things, but uh, I can't... Like, I can't adjust the brightness of it, and even if I did, like, with the light on in the room, you wouldn't see much of it anyway, so I just wanted to see how it would work. I've got like, I think I've got like a month to return it if it doesn't work out, but um, I was just tired of everything being so plain coloured around me, so I thought it'd be nice to add some colour to the stream. Um, but yeah, I don't know how well it's going to work for you guys, because obviously they, I, I can see it in the camera on my side, it's like the bottom of it. Uh, are you doing the giveaway? Are you going to give away some of the cards you pulled today? I think I get jealous of doing this. Uh, I'm not giving away any of the Japanese sets, sadly, no. Uh, because these are the only two that I've actually managed to get my hands on at the minute. Um, so these are for my own personal collection. Obviously, any doubles, any any cards that we get, like any... Uh, I think there are I think there are GXs in this set. Uh, any, any doubles of GXs and things like that we get, I might put into a giveaway of some sort, yes. Um... Besides that, I've still got... Where are those precious babies? Nope, not you. Where are you? You're here somewhere, I know you are. Don't hide from me! Nope. Nope. Okay, I can't find them right now. Ah, there they are. So we have still got these three set to give away. So obviously, if we get ten viewers and all ten of those viewers in the in the live are following, uh, you'll be added to a wheel, um, which I do need to set up. I actually forgot about. Thank you for saying that. Actually, spicy. I completely forgot to set up my wheel today. Um, yeah. So if we get ten viewers in and we get um, all ten of those people who are following us in to watch the stream, then obviously we will give away these three cards. There we go, got the wheel up now. Uh, more than happily. But as I say, for the Japanese sets at the minute, I'm not planning to give any of the cards away, just because these are the only ones I managed to get my hands on, and I've been wanting to collect some Japanese sets for a while. I actually even got a binder specially to put them in. So this binder here contains my current set. As you can see, there are some spaces missing. Uh, my current set of um, Unbroken Bonds cards. I need 66 more to complete my Unbroken Bonds English variant, um, and I'm planning on hopefully completing the Fairy Rising, the fa yeah, Fairy Rise uh, set in Japanese, and they'll be going in that binder, and that'll be basically a binder of hopefully two complete sets. Um, 
I got the Forbidden Light mostly because I like the English variants. I have so many cards from when I was young, I used to let them wonder if I got any rare cards, but I don't know. Probably. I know a lot of people who left the games and the collecting bit part of Pokemon behind early, um, like after Gen 2 or 3. Um, uh, one, of, one, of, uh, one friend that I know on TikTok, they went back to their family home, uh, I think last year, and they found, like, in, the, in their, their American, so in their garage, in their garage, um, they found a box which had a, lo a load of Pokemon cards in, and literally they found a box of fossil cards, but an actual booster box of fossil, and it was, like, you just, you don't see that now, you don't, you don't just wander into your garage and find a booster box of fossil cards. Like we were all very jelly, basically. Um, but yeah, Rio, if, uh, if you didn't, just so you know, we are giving these three, these three away. We've got an EX Guard of War, a Tag Team, a Champ and Mar Shadow, and a lovely Snorlax V. Um, just because. Um, basically, all you need to do is to be following, be present in the live, so, you know, be present in tonight's live stream when we do the draw for them. And uh, yeah, you've got a shot at winning one of those three cards. Um, it will be first come, first serve, so whoever picks whichever card first gets that card. So, uh, say we've got ten people in and um, one of you guys won, or one of, you know, some random person won who came in, then they would get to pick a card, and then there's only two, and then the last person, the second person would pick a card, and then the third card would go to the third person who gets picked in the, in the wheel. I've got a very itchy nose, and it's bugging the hell out of me, guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, I had those two... I have those things and I have four pins and 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 Yep, I've actually recently gone through all my cards and I've got two cardboard boxes in my... It's basically like a little desk that I'm using to store all my like my selling stuff and uh, different, pe different things that I'm using to like package cards and things like that from sales and giveaways. Um, and basically there's like two cardboard boxes, one's absolutely full to the brim of commons and non uh, commons uh, common uncommon rares all non-hollow and then the other box is about 20 30 percent full of uh, hollows variating from hollow reverse hollow rare to non-rare and stuff like that but it's just it's just mad how many cards you've got like and again these will probably go in that box so long as like once I've got a set of these then obviously like I say spicy once I've got a complete set of this I'll do a giveaway no problem if I get a lot of double so say I think there's a nice Mimikyu uh, e uh, GX card you can get in this set um, and obviously if I get doubles of that card then I'd happily put it up in a giveaway um, or I, I know there's a, there's a nice Xerneas card that I really, 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 really want. It looks so cute. Um, but again, if I got doubles of that Xerneas or, you know, stuff like that, I'm going to be right back, have something to do. Not a problem, Spicy. We'll see you back here in a minute when you get back. Hope uh, whatever you're doing goes well. Uh, where are the turtles? We've killed so many turtles, this ocean is running out of them. Dear Lord. Um... But Rio, if you're not interested in your cards, then obviously what I suggest you do is maybe look at selling them up. Because right now, obviously, uh, cards are very popular and people are struggling to get their hands on packs. Um, so I've noticed a lot of people selling like bulks of cards online. Um, I've definitely looked into some. Uh, I found a guy online who wanted to sell, I think, two, three hundred, no, yeah, about two, three hundred cards. Uh, but you wanted about 200 quid for them, and I was like, mm, for, for that many cards, I'd be expecting quite a lot more. Uh, for the, sorry, for that amount of money, I'd be expecting quite a lot more cards, like maybe four or 500 cards, um, with some guarantee of what's inside them. But he said he's not, he's at, he's, he said he hadn't looked in the box. He hadn't looked as to what was in the box. He just he said there might be some GX, EX, and some Prism card, uh, uh, Plasma cards in there, and I was like, hmm... I, I don't know, because you can't really guarantee what's in the box, so I'd rather not take the risk. Uh, for £200 anyway, I'm not taking that risk. And um, so I didn't I didn't bother buying them. But I have seen a lot of people, I, I see on Etsy, uh, not on Etsy, um, what's the other one called? Um, oh, God, what's the other one called? I've missed two encounters, so let's put on. Ow! That was a bit more of a stretch than I needed. Uh, what's the other one called? Um, is it Spock? Or Spock? Spock? 
I think it's Spock, I'm not sure. Um, people sell like bundles of 50 for like 20 quid or 30 quid. Um, I've seen some people sell bundles of 100 for like for 50, 65 pounds. Um, so you can sell you can sell bundles of cards quite a bit, but though on the ones like on the, on Spock, they tend to be a bit more detailed as to what you'll find in these bundles, um, and guarantee you like so many rare and, and uh, common uh, uncommon cards and stuff, and stuff like that, uh, just to make it worthwhile for your money. Because um, that's the other problem is you've got to make it worthwhile for people. You've got to make the money worth it for people. Because uh, 200 quid is a lot of money at the minute, obviously with COVID and lockdown and everything like that going on, um, people are struggling for, for a lot of money right now, so 200 quid is quite a lot, um, which is why I wasn't willing to take the risk on it. But for the right guarantees, I'd happily take the risk on it. Like if you said to me, there was, oh uh, yeah, there's probably 100 first edition base set twos in there, Buy it now, like <laughs> I will buy, and things like that. So, like, there is definitely there's risks worth taking, and then there's definitely ones that you just like. Nah, I'm good. I'm all right. I need to adjust myself. My shirt's riding up my back. It's annoying. That's bad. Um. So definitely, if you you know if you're not interested in collecting the cards anymore. Then definitely Rio looking to selling them. Well, it also depends on how old you are. If obviously if you're under 18, uh, I wouldn't advise it because you know you need, you need to be 18 or older to use eBay and things like that. Unless um, it's just pop up, that's weird. They shouldn't pop up when I'm live. Anyway, oh McAfee, what are you trying to do to me now? Go away, McAfee. Nobody likes McAfee. Ow. Nice. There we go. Um, but you, sorry. So I was saying, yeah. If you're not, if you're not 18 or o over, um, then you know probably don't sell your cards because you can't. Um, obviously, you can ask your parents about it if they wanted to. Um, I'd go through my cards, but I have no idea which ones are rare or not. The best thing to do for that is to join a Discord, whether it be TCG dedicated or Pokemon in general. I'm still in the main, I that's one thing I still still need to work on setting up properly. I've made a couple of sub channels for the Pokemon thing, but I haven't complete I haven't made all the channels that I want for it. Um so I definitely need to get on top of that. Probably I might do that tomorrow actually and just get on with it. Um you can join the Discord and a lot of the time like you can post pictures through the Discord and people will tell you what is and isn't like rare, you know. So I haven't got any common cards nearby, I can't really pull out that box. So, basically, if the card is, like, so basic cards have a little circle in them, like, as a wee circle, which is, means it's a common card, it's, you know, it, you'll find it in a lot of, you'll find it in a lot of packs, basically. Say, say I open up 20 of these, and I, um, I might pull the same common card 9 or 10 times, because it's that common. Then you've got ones with, like, a little diamond in them and they're like the un well they're kind of like a diamond shape uh, and they're the uh, they're the uncommons like the you you'll find them uh, you'll find them but not as much as the common cards and then obviously you've got the ones with the star on them and that is a rare if you've got the star then they're rare and the same goes for hollows and reverse hollows so a hollow card can either be common uncommon or rare um like i've got i think i've got Three uh, luxury cards. All of them are uh, all of them are standard hollows. So the, the the box image with the Pokemon in is the hollow, and then the rest of the card is just normal. Um, but I've got one that's got a diamond in, and I've got two that have got a star in. So two of them are rare, and then one of them is an uncommon. Um, and it just it just sort of changes the value like a little bit. It doesn't even change it that much for these for these cards. It's the cards that are like most. Uh, that are worth a lot of money at the minute are GX cards, EX cards, and V cards. So it depends on what set a person is collecting um, as to how valuable they are, really. Um, like, you can set a price on them, but it's just whether somebody will... Pay, it's more whether somebody will actually pay that price or not. Um, but, I mean, obviously that's the way with any sort of sale. Like, it's only worth what somebody is willing to pay for it, not what you want them to pay for it. 
But I recently sold a Rayquaza. It's a Shining, Rayqu uh, Shining Rayquaza from Shining Legends, which is a very sought after set right now. Um, because it's just, it's so hard to get actual packs of Shining Legends. I wish I'd kept some, to be honest. I had a draw where I had about five uh, booster packs in it. Um, and I'd completely forgotten they were in there. And I, when I found them, I was like, oh, oh, of course I was saving these, just in case. Um, and then I decided, I'll open them. Stupid idea, I should have just saved them. Um, but I sold a Shining Rayquaza from that set. Mint condition, excellent card. Great centering, front and back. So I was, you know, I was really happy to sell it, to be honest. Um, and I've seen that card sell for £40, £50, £60, £70, £80, £90, £100. I've seen it sell on all levels, so I could have put mine at the highest value. Like I've seen, I saw one sell um, the week before I put my card up for sale. I saw one sell at 135 something pence. So I was like, I could put mine up for sale for the exact same price, but I didn't because I knew it wouldn't fit, like, it's got, you've got to put it at a price somebody's willing to pay. So I put it at an auction and let the price climb, but I also put a buy it now option, I think it's £90 on. So if somebody saw it and wanted to buy it for £90, they would still get a steal, but I would get closer to the to the highest price available. I love Shining Recreate, he looks so good. Yeah, I do as well, I love him. But I I don't collect Shining, uh, shiny, uh, shining Legends, so I didn't see any point holding on to it. Hey again, Spicy. I'd ask you what you were doing, but mm, I don't know. Do we want to know what you were doing? Were you doing something we can all hear about? <laughs> Joe, you don't have to tell us. Um, yeah, I like Shiny Rayquaza, but I don't I don't collect Shining Legends, so I didn't see any point holding on to it. Uh, so I sold it, and I actually sold it for a very fair price. It, it sold for 55, uh, well, nearly 56 pounds, 55 pounds and something pence, um, which is a really fair price for what it was. Um, sure, I'm waiting to, um, ah, okay. Make sure you get all your stuff done. Oh, no, don't do any all-nighters. Good Lord. I can't do all-nighters anymore. I'm old. Too old for that. Ow. It hurts just to lean forward so I can type in the encounters. Um. But... Yeah, Rio, if you want to sell cards, then it's definitely something you can get into. Like, I've got into it, and I don't love it. Like, it's not the easiest thing to do, um, but it takes care of itself a lot. Like, 90% of it takes care of itself. The other 10% is you having to, obviously, arrange postage, put things, you know, pack everything up, send it to the, po you know, get it to the post office and send it out with proper tracking. Because um, that's the thing I've struggled with mostly is... Um, getting my tracking right and then putting it on the item so that way people see how you know how long you've got to wait and obviously the, another issue is if this is mostly for the UK as well so obviously if you're not in the UK Rio then this might not apply to you uh, but in the UK anything under 50 pound value um, any, yeah anything under 50 pound value it doesn't go recorded delivery it goes start it goes tracked and signed so you can still track it no problem um i've got hair on my thanks that's your hair scrappy um you can still you can start it track but it it's it's different to like the more expensive tracking where you know ever like you know it's at this depot it's at this depot it's with this courier it's going to the address today like you, you sign for just means it's been sent out, we'll notify you when the person has signed for it at the door. Um, which is a bit of a pain in the backside, because then you get, sometimes you get buyers asking you, you know, have you uh, have you got the tracking for my item? It's like, yes, I have, but what I have isn't going to help you see where the item is today. It's just going to tell you where it's going to be soon, which doesn't really help. You, so, um, But anything over £50 value, you can put a higher insurance on, which means you can put a better tracking on and it's not going to cost you an arm or a leg to do. Obviously, if I was sending it to America or to Europe, it'll be different. But I need to check. Um, I'm pretty sure it was Jonas who got that... Uh, uh, that Charizard. Well, not Jonas. Who was it? Oh, poop. Um, but ba basically, uh, Rio, somebody won a Charizard from me um, last week. 
and it's going to, it's going to uh, Belgium. I think it's, 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 it was yes, it was Jonas. Uh, it's going over to Belgium, so um, which isn't a problem. I can send stuff to Belgium. It was actually rather in, like it was rather inexpensive. I think all in all, sending out Jonas's two cards because obviously his friend won a card as well, so he's just going to give it to his friend, um, and then. Um, Shiny Greninja won a card, who's another follower of ours. Um, oh, of course, Spike. Good lord. I'm not very good at remembering these things. Sorry, Spike. Of course. So, you're getting the other card. Has he had... You'll know then. That you'll, you might know, actually, then, Spike. Has he had the parcel? My memory fails me. I'm sorry. Uh, has he had the cards yet? Because I sent... When did I send them? I sent them on... Yeah, I sent them on Friday. So it might be a bit soon yet, but you never know. He hasn't got it yet. See, this is the thing though. Um, the track, like they gave me a receipt, but it had no tracking on it, and so I am a little bit worried because obviously, as we discussed in the in the live that night, that Charizard is quite a little bit expensive. Um, so I'm just worried some postal worker is going to figure out what's inside and be like, "Ooh, money." Um, so hopefully it gets there safe and sound. As I say, I only sent it Friday, so hopefully it should be close to on the way. They did say to me, I think they said three to five business days. Um, so, you know, it's only Friday, Monday, Tuesday, so it's only been three days so far. So hopefully, hopefully sooner rather than later. But yeah, so, so and sending to America would be even worse, like... I'd have to put like a premium tracking service on it, so it would probably cost me like just the tracking alone would cost me about 10 15 quid, and then obviously the parcel itself, depending on the weight, would probably cost me about five or maybe more. So you're looking at 20 30 pounds just to send out one parcel for like a giveaway winner or something, which is a little bit difficult. Um, Obviously, Europe's not too bad. I don't have to pay too much on, on stuff like that for Europe. Um, but it's not proper tracking. It'll, just, it'll, it'll tell me, basically, when Jonas... It should tell me. I should get an email from uh, the Royal Mail Post Service when Jonas has had the, uh, the package. Um, but besides that, it won't tell me details. Like, it won't tell me, you know, is in transit from here, is on its way to here, is in, in route for delivery today. Um, which I can get the items that I've sold within the UK because obviously you know it's within the UK tracking speed test. Um, good lord, I'm not doing very well against these turtles today. There we go. This is why I need to make more notes as well, Spicy, because I forget simple things. Like I should remember that you're getting the other card. What card did you win, Spicy? Cause I've, that's gone out of my head. I know Greninja won the um, Rainbow Morpeko. Obviously, Jonas won the um, Charizard. The Mewtwo, of course, you picked the Mewtwo. That's a nice Mewtwo. I was happy to give that away, though, because a lot of the cards you'll see in my giveaways, Rio, are going to be, like, doubles of cards that I've already got in my collection, or cards that I've got, say, like, for the Mewtwo, I know I've got the promo version and another one of it, so I was happy to put it in. Uh, I've got a double of him, I've got a double of her, and I'm not really bothered for Snorlax, I don't really love the Snorlax V, but I know some people do really like this card, so, <laughs> that was weird. I know, I know some people really do like the, uh, the V card, especially the Snorlax ones, so, happy to give that away as well, because as I say, I'm not in love with it, uh, I'm more excited for what's in these bad boys, and I think when we get to an hour and a half stream time, uh, once we get to an hour and a half stream time, we are going to crack this box open. So I would love to get into a few packs. Maybe do like maybe do like five or six packs. You don't got to enter me in the giveaway. I don't collect cards anymore. Well, Rio, if you're here and you're uh, and you're following and you are following, thank you so much, Rio. Thank you. Um, I can put you in the wheel, and obviously, if you don't want to, if you don't want, if you don't, move, if you don't want to take the win, you can give it to somebody else. I've got no problem with people doing that. So, like, say, say if you won a giveaway of mine, but you didn't want it, you could you could choose to re-spin the wheel, or you could say, give it to such and such in the chat. You know, I've got no problem with people doing that. And 
Oh, you held on, but you're going to die from the hail anyway, you stupid gorilla. Um, I've got no problem with people doing that. Obviously, the basic the, the basic rules are we've got to have 10 viewers in the live, and we've got to have an itchy nose, apparently. I'm very itchy nose tonight, guys. Sorry. Um, we've got to have 10 viewers in the chat, and all 10 who are in the chat um, have to be following to be entered. And then once that is the case, then we'll go ahead with a giveaway. Um, of the last few times we've streamed, we haven't managed to get that many people in. But I'm not too worried about it because at the end of the day, I like having fun with you guys and just chatting with you guys, seeing what's been going on and stuff like that. It's always nice to catch up with people, especially when uh, you maybe can't do as much as you normally do. Right, I'm going to quickly go blow my nose before I pull it off my face because it's itching like hell. So I'll be back in two minutes. Okay, that's probably less than two minutes, but I feel so much better. Oh, proper blow my nose. Get rid of all that gunky gunk. Get rid of that gunky gunk. Oh, we lost somebody. Uh, I'm going to name our Pokemon. Uh, and how many soft leaves that we for? I did that once. I did that for a shiny Mudkip on Aorus because I, I made a bit of a boo-boo. Um, I don't know if you know this uh, particular show, but I love the show um, Lilo and Stitch, which is like the, the TV series of the movie where they basically hunt down and track down all the different experiments that have been released on, on planet Earth in Hawaii and stuff like that. And I really love the show and I was going to name it after one of the experiments, not realizing there was only like 400 or something, 500 or something experiments. And I got to 900 and something soft resets, so I ended up naming it like 900, I think it was 925. So we had the, the shiny mud kit 925, and I was like, well, that's its name now. It's going to have to stick with that. Still got an itchy nose. Why is my nose... I always get an itchy nose when I'm on stream. I don't know what it is. It's so annoying. Come on, turtle boy. Oh, that's the wrong way, Aaron. Stupid old. There's one. Boop! Um, wow, you really shot it. Uh, when, last, last time you said you were on resets, you were on like 200 and something? You really shot up on some resets there. Well done. But I find if you do, like, if, like, if you're watching, like, somebody shiny hunt, I do find that you, you can be very focused as well. So, like, it can help your focus watching somebody shiny hunt and listen to them talk in the background while you're shiny hunting. Because uh, it just sort of helps you drive home what you're trying to do. Oh, I've got like a rough bit of skin on my finger. Weird. Boop! That was it. So, yeah, you've gone up a full hundred. Nicely done. We haven't, we haven't even gone up a full hundred on this yet. Scoot closer. Scoot closer. Closer. There we go. Sturdy. I hate sturdy. It's such a pain in the bum. These over here. Oh, 
go in there, will you? Oh my, there we go. I believe we need to just tic tac toe. More people just liking some stuff. Somebody shared a live video. Can't really jump into people's lives on TikTok right now though. I try and I try and jump into lives on people's uh, try and jump into TikTok lives as many as I can for my friends on there. Just because the numbers help. Like it's the same as Twitch. The more people you have viewing your, your Twitch stream, the more people can see it. So I try and jump in as many as I can for people as, as often as I can, but sometimes it's just that many and not. You can't always jump in everyone, sadly. As much as I'd love to, if I could be in like six places at once. Uh, but so, for some reason, TikTok locks you out if you log in on more than one device. So I, I logged in once, and I didn't even think about it. Uh, I was watching videos on my TikTok, and I saw that somebody, uh, one of my friends, was live. So I thought, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll jump on my computer, I'll watch the live on my on my computer, and then I can keep scrolling through videos on my phone. Uh, but it locked me out, and I was locked out of stuff for like 20, 30 minutes, and it was just really annoying, because I was like, why, why would you do this to me? Why do this to me? What did I do wrong? I do nothing wrong. Nothing. Uh, but yeah, it locked me out, so I had to just wait and then jump back in the uh, in my friend's live. Like, sorry, I got locked out. Because TikTok is stupid. Yeah, if you have the like, so if you have the function to go live, um, you can log into two devices, so you can watch your chat from one device and you know use your other device to record your live stream. And I just, I don't get why you can't do that in general, basically. I think it's a good, good thing for everyone. Uh, oh, we get three rare candies for doing that. Okay. Okay, we can't really catch anything now, so we'll just check back in a few minutes. Itchy nose! So we'll do another, t uh, what, 30, 13 minutes. We'll do another 13 minutes of encounters. And then we are going to crack open this box. I can't wait. Um, crack open that box while we do some like Dynamax Raid adventures or something. Because obviously I don't need to really pay 100% for Dynamax Raid as so long as I choose my attack and stuff like that. I can uh, coast through them pretty well to be honest. Boop. Let's go around you guys because I don't need a big ice cube. I don't need ice in my drink, thank you. Let me just double check the encounters at the minute, because I think I've missed a couple. Possibly, maybe not. I'm not 100% sure, that's why we're going to check. What was the most last three sets of encounters it take? You got a shiny. Uh, I think the most it's ever taken me. Uh, ooh, it's a tough question actually, because recently when I was playing Sword and Shield, it took me nearly 2,000 encounters to get a shiny rookity. Which is the uh, like the, the starter bird Pokemon of the region? Um, longest, I think the longest soft resets was probably a shiny starter in Aorus. Um, which the first time I did it was for a shiny Torchic, and that took about 1,600 something soft resets. So that wasn't very fun. Uh, I've had obviously Mudkip on there which was 900 I think 25 and Lugia on Ultra Moon that took about 600 700 soft resets but yeah I think Rook I think Rookity is probably the the longest one the only shiny I went for in the past year was in the past year okay well those are some serious hunts as well so they don't happen easily um, in the original games, I've never actually shiny hunted those three. Uh, the only time I've shiny hunted, obviously, those three would be in uh, Aorus and in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Just because it's simple, it's easier to find them and it's easier to hunt them. In those games, I'd, I'd say personally. But yeah, those, those are, but I never actually hunted them in the original games just because, you know. Mm. That would just be painful and very long-winded. 
This hail is killing more of my mons than anything. Jeez. This hail is doing me some damage. Whee! Uh, I'm still here. If you were wondering, just focus on my helmet. No, don't worry. Make, if you want to listen to the stream, definitely do it. But do do focus on your homework as much as you can, my man. Because uh, I didn't focus on my homework a lot, and obviously here I am. This, this is this is how I hope to make a living now. Because um, I've got no options. Uh, well, I, I do have options. I have I have some. I have a form of intelligence. It's just not one you can apply to most jobs, sadly. Um, but yeah, def definitely focus on your homework, man. Because uh, it is far more important. Not that I'm not important. I like to think I'm rather important in my own way, but still. I think your schoolwork should definitely come first. I keep scooting further and further back, which is annoying. There we go. Uh, I keep checking the time because I'm so excited to play these. I'm thinking of starting starting stream in the summer. Definitely, obviously, wouldn't you? Obviously, because you'll have summer holidays and stuff. Definitely. Um, it's worth doing. Like you can. Do, like I'm trying to. Do, I'm trying to do it so I can, you know, grow and you know, hopefully one day turn it into my own business. But um, you can definitely do it for fun. Like the the first month, January, when I first started, if one person turned up to my live stream, I was happy with that. Like I wouldn't, you know. I'd be over the moon and I'd be talking to an empty chat and stuff like that. And it, you know, it doesn't bother you. It's just, if you do want to do it for growth, then you do have to start putting, you know, work, you know, getting into your social. Because I'm not one for social media. I'm not great with the Instagram. I'm terrible with Facebook. I refuse to have a Twitter account. I flat out refuse to have a Twitter account. And I don't understand Reddit. Reddit is too young for me. It's, it, it's a young person's thing, Reddit is, I swear, because it's just... I don't get it. It's hard to grow as a small stream. It takes a long time to start getting views. It definitely does. It definitely does. We got really lucky last week. We had two lovely people raid us, and that was just absolutely. I just my head just blew out the side for a moment because I just couldn't believe it. Um, but I, I was I was so in shock of it. Like it was really amazing. And then um, obviously we've gone. The night that we got those raids, we went from having. Uh, I think it was uh, seven or eight followers to doubling that, and, we've, and we're growing still. We went last uh, last Friday. We went from eighteen to twenty-two. Now we've got you, Rio, to twenty-three. Like we're growing faster than I actually thought we would, and it's just amazing. It's absolutely awesome. Um, obviously, a lot of people say, "Oh, it takes a long while to get to 50. but in my opinion, like it's taken it's taken me three months to get to twenty-three followers. And if it takes me another three months to get to twenty six, uh, to get to the, to like double that, then that's fine. If it takes me double the amount of time to get double the amount of followers, that's fine. Because we'll be, you know, we'll be at forty six, and we'll be four away from affiliate, which is just perfect. So, but I love it. I love the growth, even in the smallest ways. Like I started doing TikTok videos in January. And I didn't think I'd be very good at it, but I've managed to I've managed to accumulate 270 followers through the Pokemon community, just being the Pokemon community. It's amazing. And yeah, I couldn't be happier. Okay. I think the hardest platform that I'm currently working with is definitely Instagram. Facebook sadly is a little bit dead. Um, not a lot of people use Facebook to advertise like their streams or their the content of their streams. Like, I do put a lot of my stuff on there, so if I get a shiny, um, the videos I put on Instagram and on, on TikTok for social media, I put on my Facebook as well. They just they don't get a lot of attention there, sadly. Obviously, I download and upload all my vods from every stream onto my YouTube. I've missed a couple uh, just with being ill over the weekend. I've missed a few. Um, but like tonight's VOD will be downloaded and then I'll upload it tomorrow to my YouTube channel So if anyone wanted to watch the stream but couldn't watch it live they can go over to YouTube I have a VOD, I have a, literally a VOD playlist where you can just watch the entire thing back um, But yeah, I'd say the hardest platform right now to use is probably Facebook because it's dead Instagram is harder to grow on because you have to know your hashtags um, so you can reach the right audience 
Uh, beyond that, though, I'd say t I'd say TikTok is probably the, the it's not the easiest. It's definitely the simplest to grow on because so long as you have a few friends who share the same interests, then their friends will see it, and then their their friends will see it, and so on. It will have like a knock on effect where multiple people will see it because a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend saw it. So that's really helpful. Um, but yeah, Instagram's probably the toughest to grow on because you need to know your hashtags. Dark Fury on Twitch, how are you doing? You missed the start, but it's okay because look what we've got. You've probably seen that on TikTok though, I imagine. Um, got that, we're at, you're actually just in time. We're going to, um, yeah, you've actually come just in time. We're actually going to be opening this up in five minutes. So if you've got anyone you want to get into the stream, you've got any friends you want to come watch us do a box break, this is the first time I'm doing a box break live. Like, I'm actually really excited for this because um, I've never been able to do a box break before. Um, so what we're going to do is in like four minutes, I'm going to jump over and I'm going to go to like the Dynamax Raid Adventures and we'll just go through anything is fine. And we're going to go through like five or ten packs of this. There's 30 in the box, so we're going to go through like five or ten packs um, and we'll just see what we get. I'm really excited. I, I really want one of the one of the artworks, basically. I want either the Xerneas or the Mimikyu, um, because the, I've looked at the cards on the um, Koki Collector website, and the Xerneas and the Mimikyu look wow, pristine. Um, so I can't wait for that. I, uh, I really hope we get something good. Even if we don't get something good, to be honest, it's nice to make a start on collecting this set. I've seen so many people open it. And to be honest, with how many people I've seen on like TikTok, Instagram, and also and YouTube opening Fairy Rise, I thought that this would be a hard set to get my hands on. Um, but this is actually still in stock on the website I bought it from. Whereas this bad boy is already out of stock, and this is an older set. So I thought like I thought surely this would be the one that stays in stock. Um, but no, the Fairy Rise is still in stock, so I could get more of them. If I enjoy it, which I think I will. Voidry, how are you doing? Everyone's coming just in time. I'm loving this. You're all making it just in time. In three minutes, we're going to be doing a live box break. So you're all getting here just in time for this. Uh, and I'm doing good, thank you. Back's a lot better, mostly because I'm doped up on painkillers. <laughs> um, don't tell Twitch. Shh. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm a lot better today. A lot better than I was yesterday and the day before. So I spent most of the time there, where he is. Stealing my seat. Okay, you're dead. Um, I don't think we'll get 20 encounters in two minutes. So I'll tell you what, let's go over and heal the team, because they are dying. And then we will ride on up to the Dynamax Raid Adventures. Um, so let me... Where's my notepad? I always do this. Every stream I do this, like... I look around for stuff and I can't find it. There we go. Thank you. So let me just make a note of this quickly. This goes all in the background, yeah. I need you guys to just tell me every now and then, like if that thing's blinding you, just let me know and I'll try and re-angle it and stuff like that. I'm gonna attempt to do 1,000 soft resets today if I don't get back, if I don't get it before that. If you do 1,000 soft resets today, I'm sure you'll get a shiny. Um, so it's, I'm just going to call it Turtle Boy, because I always forget how to actually say and spell his name, 180, great, um, but yeah, so in the, ca in, in the, um, in my sort of feedback for the camera, I can see every now and then when the light, when the, when the actual LEDs dip to the bottom of the, of the, the strobe, I can see that the, the light does reflect, ref, reflect quite badly into the camera. So if that does blind you guys, please do let me know. Um, reverse rewards on... Yeah, I've seen. I've seen the new rewards. Absolutely awesome. Oh, okay. Well, I actually know because if, if you're splitting that in three, your odds are actually a little bit better than 8,192. Only a little bit. I think like... 7,800 and something. But your odds are actually a teeny tiny bit better. Um, so, you, you never know. You might get it a bit early. I've, I've seen people get early shinies on uh, 
the Heart Gold and Soul Silver Starter Shiny Hunt. I've seen people get mega early shinies on there. So, old faith, man. I'd say you might get it early. Uh, as well, somebody just give me an update. How many people have we actually got in the live? Because my stream manager is definitely lying to me today. It keeps telling me I've got two over here, three over here. It, just, it keeps lying to me. I think we've got I think we've got four in. Voidry, Dark Fairy, Spicy, and Rio. That makes four in my mind. Uh, but yeah, again, just if that thing keeps blinding you guys through the camera, then let me know, and obviously I'll. Mine says, "See that? Liar! Liar! Stream manager! Stupid thing! It lies!" Okay, so let's. Eee, we can open this now. Uh, so where do you want the cam? Do you want the camera down here? Is that all right for you guys, or do you want me to leave it where it is, and I'll show you the packs as we go through them? Like, oh, I pointed it up a bit too high. There we go. Uh, I'll show you the packs as we go through them. What do you think? Oop. Oop, baby. Why are you buzzing at me? My phone buzzed at me for no reason. Stupid phone. Um, let's change the encounters to 000 because we are going to do anything is fine. And we don't need an encounter for that. And we're going to change the Pokey Sprite to my lovely friend, the question mark. Oh, dear lord. Why has it made it so big? There we go. Oh, I know why. Because I, I had to check, I had to adjust it so that way the turtle boy would fit. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Right. Let's go. So, would you like to embark on a Dynamax adventure? I would most certainly go with anything that's fine. Yeah, painkillers are a wonderful thing, guys. So, I can't wait. I've waited like four or five hours to do this. Like, literally, the amount of restraint, guys, I've shown today is amazing. So, I think for opening the box itself, I'm going to point you down for a second, guys. So, just bear with me. Right. I think the best thing to do is to put that there. No, I didn't even touch it, apparently. I don't want to damage the spot. This thing is so well packed that you can barely just, just do it. I'm doing it, okay? Don't shout at me. I know. I've seen so many people open Fairy Rising, which is why I thought this would sell out pretty quick. I'm going to take Lorantis because it's got a nice little set of moves. Like, I've seen so many people buying this set, so I thought like this set would sell out, but apparently not. They've still got it in stock, so if I enjoy this set, then we'll definitely get some more. Um, wow, this thing is so well wrapped. There we go. Oh. <laughs> uh, we'll just throw the rubbish down here for now. Um, Barry, why not? Okay, so I think we just. Ooh, here we go! Oh, this is so cool! And we can. Oh, does it not want to? You can definitely do this. I know. Oh, I see. It doesn't want to do it like that. What are we going against? El oh, Creamy? Yeah. Oh, a creamy you. There we go. There we go, guys. We've got a proper little box. Uh, oh, creamy. There we shoot. Oh, no. Don't use that. We've only got five. Oh, this is so cool. I've seen so many people with this box, but looking at it myself, I'm just so happy. Right. I would normally, ask, well, I would normally, I would go with what everyone else doesn't ask team right or team left. But I am just going to crack into a pack here. Because I really, really want to see what we get. So, I'm pretty sure with 
pretty much all Japanese sets. You just go with one card to the front. These feel so much better. I know it sounds re really weird. These feel so much better. So we've got Brovile. That's actually really cool. I love that artwork. Let me bring you up a little bit now. So you can see a bit better. The light doesn't take it out completely. So Brovile, what's that? Oh, it's a Vulpix! That's so cute! I don't know if you guys can see that. My, my, uh, my camera for streaming is really good for me, but, but actually... That's really cute. Then we've got... Ah, oh, lamp, Lampant. I like him. I love him. I love Lampant. And then we've got... Oh, Kecleon. Ooh, Kecleon. I really like Kecleon. And then... Oh. Is it a hollow? Did we get... I don't think we did. We got a trainer. I'm not actually sure who that trainer is. If anyone knows the trainer in the scarf. I'm not actually sure who he is. I couldn't even guess, to be honest. He seems familiar, though. I have no idea. You do? Who is he? Who is he, Spicy? I have no idea who he is. I'll put you over there. Alright, okay, so I know what I'm going to do. I'll put the box here. That's who I'm thinking of. Yes, that's who I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of that gym leader. But I have no idea what his name is anymore. Like, you'd think I'd remember that. Like, it's not even that hard, especially since they did remakes of the whole game. There's going to be so much rubbish on my desk. Okay, here we go again. I really hope we get something like this. Hmm, sounds about right. Catch this Pokemon. Give you guys a quick reveal. Tell me what we got, because I uh, can't actually see it through the camera. That's the that's the thing that's going to bug me here, is I can't see it through the camera. So we got a... Oh, a Sheninja! Oops. Try not to reveal the back card to myself too early. What a Sheninja! That's actually a really nice card. I like the artwork. It's sort of like the desolate bas background. Ah, oh, Cutie Fly. I hate Cutie Fly. Yama. That's a really cool artwork. Oh, we got a ninja! There you go. So we got we got ninja and his evolved form. We got his we got mum and dad, or uh, mum and son. And then we got oh oh we got something hollow. We got something good apparently. Oh, we got a shaving! No way! We got a hollow shaving. That's so nice. Oh, I'm so chuffed with that. And then, oh, there you go. There you can really see the. You can really see it. There. Oh, sorry guys, I'm not paying any attention. We'll go for wolf type, I guess. No, you want to go ghost and fire? Okay, get me killed. That's so cool. I'm so happy with that. Whoa, we got a shaman. Okay, I'm gonna see what sleeves I've got for good cards. I haven't got a lot of sleeves right now. Uh, nope. Uh, okay, you can go in this one for now, shaman. So we're going for Ghost, apparently, which... Ghost of Fire, which I don't see as being the best option for us. That's an adorable Shaman card, guys. I absolutely love that. I really love that. Uh, don't put the lid on that, Aaron, because we're going to need them. We're going to need all these sleeves. I've got loads of sleeves. They're just all random sets. So that's left. And this is right. So which one should we go for? Left? Left here or right? Left or right? Left or right? I don't think I've got a move that's going to be any good against you. Nope. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I've got spicy for right. No one else is saying, so I think we might end up going with the right. This one feels heavier. We've got two for right, so I'm going to jump straight into the right back. This one definitely feels heavier as well. Yeah, it does. Weird. With only five cards in a pack, I didn't think that would be something that could be, like, something you'd notice, but yeah, definitely does feel heavier. Is that a good thing or a bad thing, though, guys? What do you think? Is it a good thing that it feels heavier or a bad thing? I am so nervous putting into these packs. Like, I want to keep the packs as nice as possible, but I'm also super nervous putting into them. Alright. 
And we're definitely correct with the one to the front theory. So put one to the front. And we get... Is that a Rabombe? I hate Rabombe because I hate Cube Slide. A... Oh, good lord, what's his name? He evolves into Shinotic and... Oh, somebody tell me his name. He evolves from Shinotic. He evolves into Shinotic, sorry. Oh, what's his name? He's actually really adorable, especially the shiny. Oh, we got Trico! We got a nice little Trico. He's climbing down a tree, or maybe falling from a tree, I don't know. He looks like he's falling. To me. Morello, thank you, Dark Fairy. We got a handbag, because who doesn't need a handbag while they're adventuring, capturing Pokemon, like I do? And we got... Not a hollow. But we did get a very cute butterfly. That's actually really adorable. That's actually really cute. I like that. I might try and make myself a little bit bigger. Oh, come sugar. There we go. We've got a nice little butterfly. That's actually really cool. Okay, let's see if Team Left can pull anything better than a... Okay, I don't know what the symbol on them is for, so they've got... C I'm guessing C is for common and U is for uncommon, from the look of it, anyway. Um, we'll just put that away. Let's see if Team Left can pull anything out. You're one of the only people who say my name right. People always say Fury instead of Fury. Well, I just sort of assumed because you didn't go for double, you went for double Y instead of double, uh, you went, yeah, you went double Y's. I know I'm trying to, you said double Y. Can you like maybe switch your face cam so your game? Uh, I think I know what you mean, yeah, so, oh, bugger. Um, if I put, oh, you stupid. <laughs> Right, there we go. I want that there. I'm going to shrink this down to the same size. Put you over here. If you'll fit in there. And then I'm going to make myself so much bigger! I'm huge! Look at me! Um, there we go. I think that'll. I think this will work a lot better. Oh, actually, you can see everything now. Oh, okay. uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? x -scissor. Go for that. Uh, so, team left, can you pull something better than team right? Although I do quite like that beautiful light. It's only an uncommon, but it's very cute. So I will give team right a little bit. Thank you so, yeah. I don't know why I don't, didn't think of that myself, to be honest. I, should, I really should have thought that that would have made it a lot better. <laughs> I'm new to this still. It's only my third month. Okay, so we've got a... I think that's a fairy charm. I reckon I recognise that a little bit. I think that's a fairy charm. Uh, Vesper Quinn. I know everyone says Vesper. Oh, Cutify again. So this is an example. Uh, Rio, if you're still here, this is an example of a like highly common card. So yeah, it's, a, it's got a little C in the corner that says, I'm pretty sure it means common. Litwick! Yeah! I love Litwick. He's so adorable. So cute. And ooh, we've got another hollow. Ooh, what's that? Oh, this is something good. This is something real good. I, I'm sorry, but Team Left, I think you might have blown... Uh, I'm sorry, Team Right. Team Left might have blown you out of the water. <gasps> oh, we got a Sceptile! Sceptile GX, guys. That is absolutely awesome. Let me just get a freeze right away. Come here. Oh, my word. That is absolutely awesome. I'm trying to hold this very carefully by the corners and sides. Oh, it's a bit wide on the side. Oh my word! Look at that. That is such a. Oh, that's such a pretty card. Oh, look how glossy he is. He's so pretty. Oh, I oh I am a hundred percent collecting this set. Look how cool that is. Like the Japanese cards just look more badass. Uh, I don't want it. I've just realised, by the way, guys, this entire time, we haven't even looked at what the, um, what the legendary is, so we have no idea what we're going into. That's better. 
Um, so we have no idea what we're going into. That is absolutely stunning. Oh, so the layout. There you go. There's some other show we Okay, let's get. Let's get another one for team right and team left. Where are we going first this time? I mean, team left, you blew it away like that there. You blew that away. So team right really needs to redeem themselves a little bit here. Oh, I've got terrible. We are all terrible for this. Uh, so team left, team right. Team right really needs a redemption card. That septile is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I'm so happy with that. Just that one card already makes this entire box worthwhile. I don't feel any... You're going for lefty. I mean, left is not the outcome of that last card. I think we're going to have to go with team left there because they will absolutely knock it out of the park. Voidry coming in with the left. Voidry, you lurking there? If in doubt, <laughs> you can't go down the middle. I'd have to cut the box in half, and I don't want to do that. To be honest, at this point with this with this dynamite trade, we're just spectators at best. Uh, I'm still really nervous cutting into these packs, and I don't know if I should just start opening them like I normally would. But I want to keep them in nice condition because like they're really nice artworks, and if you just cut the very tip tip off, like you only lose a tiny bit of them in the QD. So I'm quite happy like losing that. So we've got a spell tag, I'm guessing. Looks like a spell tag. Wormpole! He's adorable. I like that he's sitting like with somebody's like schoolwork and stuff. Hey Spicy, you can have a little Wormpole on your desk. How's that sound? Denny! He's got a really good card in this set. I want to try and find that. Another handbag, so another common. And then... Oh, team left going in with the wiggly top. Oh. See, look, he's sitting, he's Wormple, he's sitting with like schoolwork and stuff. You could have a little Wormple sitting on your desk. He's sitting with like, I don't know if you can see it very well in the picture, but he's got like school books and like somebody's work there. I'm putting, I'm giving you, that's the wrong, that's the wrong finger I should be using. He's got like school books and stuff and somebody's work stuff all there. He could be sitting on your desk helping you with your, with your schoolwork. <laughs> I'd be pretty cool with him joining too. So... We've got a little stack of commons coming along quite nicely here, which obviously I will be sorting out into, into ones I'm going to keep and stuff in my set. Um, I am hoping he he might eat that you might need a book for him to eat just for him. Yeah, probably. Um, I am going to try and get as many hollows for the set as I can because I don't know. So I've looked at the collection on the on the Pokey Collects website and I don't know exactly what you can and can't get as hollow, like I know some cards you don't always get as hollow just because they don't always print every single card with a non-hollow, reverse hollow and hollow variant, um, but I'm hoping to get as many hollows as I can for the fairy charm, so of course another comment from the Cascoon, yes Cascoon, no, Silcoon, Silcoon, wrong, Silcoon, wait, 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 so I don't mind having a few of them, uh, um, oh, who, what's the name? Um, from... Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, I can't really remember. So, Team Right, have you won this one? Oh, Carbink, thank you. Team Right, Team Right, Team Right. Anyone who's Team Right? Oh, yes, a Sigilith! A Sigilith GX, that's, am that's awesome. I'm sorry, guys, but hold, hold on. We've gone through... One, two, three, four, five, six packs. And we've already pulled three hitters. We've already pulled three awesome hitters. Like, oh, we got kicked out. I'm not surprised. We are li I was literally just a spectator, spectator to that. Uh, El Primi, no. La guys. Guys. Guys, just, just look in the bottom corner of your screens right now. Let me, let me just focus that up a bit, because that's out of focus. That, that is, that is, we're going to check it, we're going to check it right now. No way! No way we actually got a shiny from that raid! We got a, we got a Sigilith, a Psychic type, and we got a shiny. He knew it was coming, that's why he turned up in the pack like, I know what's going to happen. 
So let me let me just clarify this. We've had six packs, three hitters, and a shiny. What is happening tonight, guys? I'm sorry, I'm just gonna have to run and get like 10,000 lottery cards or something because my luck is in. Like, oh my god, that is such a cool card, by the way. I know I've been like throwing it around a lot, but the hollow effect is awesome. And we got a shiny lampant. Well, let's just check in case we got the second. No, nope, we, we got a shiny lampant. I know, Voidry, this is going great. Everybody, this is going great. Let's get some sparkles in the chat. Like, this is going absolutely awesome. Would you like to take this lamp? Of course I would. It's a shiny. Oh, my word. Oh, and I'm actually loving some of the common cards that we're getting, by the way. Like, these common cards are really nice cards. Like, because, like, the Japanese cards are so much nicer. Just the way they're printed, the way they feel. Oh, my word. Breathe. Breathe. We got a shiny lamp in. Oh, my word. This has already been a great stream. Uh, yeah, we'll do another one, because we're going to open... I say we open, so we've done... What did I say? We've done six packs. Yeah, we've done six packs. So I think we'll do six more while we do another raid in the background, which I'll try and pay a bit more attention to, but I'm making no promises, because we are getting some amazing cards right now. Um, would you like to set up a raid? Yes, I would. Anything is fine. Yes, yes. There we go. Uh, invite other... Yep, okay, so we've got team right again, or we've got team left. Oh, that's backwards down. We've got team left or team right. Now, team right won that one, so it's one all right now. Imagine you get a gold. Oh, if I get a gold card, I'd cry, honestly. I don't I don't expect it to happen, but if I do, then I will cry. Um, just because I love the gold card. I know normally the gold cards, are like I think the only gold cards in this are trainer cards, like support cards and things, things like that. So... But still, I love the gold card. So we've got a left for Dark Fury. Anyone else want to go team left? Or are we jumping on team right? Because, I mean, we're one all right now. Team both. Spicy, it's time to pick a side, brother. Oh, it's not my choice yet. But we've got team left going first, then. Team right won that last one, so it's one all so far. And, I mean, that was damn impressive. There we go. Nah, there's an Oranguru. It's in Fairy Rise. Is there? Oh, it's me now. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm going to take that. Good day. Is there a, is there a gold card Oranguru and Obstagoon? I'd love that. Are you sure that's Fairy Rise? Because I know there's a shiny Obstagoon in one of the sets. I'm not 100% sure which. No, this is Fairy Rise, so I don't I don't think that's this is this is Fairy Rise, which is the Sun and Moon set. Um so I don't think you can get any of those. Oh yeah, I did press that. Okay, so we've got a a Copy Gregus. No, that's alright. A Rolt, which is adorable in the forest. I thought there was another Pokemon there sitting with it. Sitting by a lake. Adorable. Silcoon again. We need we need Cascoon. Uh, Morolo again, and so this is team left. Oh. Oh. It's a hollow. Why is it? It's a hollow. What is it? Oh, it's a, oh, it's a hollow chandelier. That's mint. There we go. I'll take that. That's awesome. Absolutely. I, th I know. I know there is a rainbow septile in this set. So I know you're right on that. That's really cool. I like that. Uh, super effective. Let's go with Angel Ball. That's really nice. Another nice hitter to go in the set. Put you with the commons. I'll have to sort through you after the stream. So this is Team Right's pull now. So, I mean, if it beats a hollow, then obviously they win. If it's a common, though. I'm so happy. Like, I haven't opened like a lot of cards in such a long time. Just the fact that I'm opening these packs makes me absolutely ecstatic. And we got a shiny for those. Like, how cool is that? We got a shiny at the same time. Okay, and we've got a spell tag. I'm gonna guess that's a spell tag. I think. I have to check on uh, Pokey Collect. Another worm pull. Okay, 
Snowy or a Lowland Vulpix, a Dene, and for Team Right we have. We're gonna go fast. Oh, a non hollow Coffee Grigus. So Team Left takes another point there. I'm afraid, guys. Team Left is two up, whereas Team Right only has one to its name. But I mean, that one is a pretty amazing card. Like, I'm not gonna lie, that one is a pretty damn awesome card. Um, so that was two more packs, guys. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So we're gonna go with. Are we going team left or team right? <laughs> team left or team right? You gotta be. Gotta go to the bathroom. Fair enough, my man. If you need to go, you need to go. Uh, I tell you what, I'm gonna jump in. Uh, I've forgotten which one that is. I'll just switch my hand so. Which one is it? We're gonna go with this one. Anyway, we're gonna go with this one just because I like to be a wind up merchant. That's what I am. I like to sell wind up. What's everyone thinking of the pack so far? What's everyone thinking? I mean, that Sceptile, easily my favourite card we've pulled. But anyone loving the Shaman or the copy, uh, the um, Chandelure or anyone loving the Sigilla? What's people thinking? Whoop. So, don't worry because this is actually the left pack. I accidentally switched them in my hand. This is the left pack. Then right is next. So... Team left is up first. This is the second time you guys are up first. Ribombe. Ribombe! Oh, Tangler! We're going to need him, because we haven't got one of him for set yet. Shinotic, there he is. The, the evolved form of Morolo. A... Oh, a ninja! So there we go. So we've got a full set now. We've got, um... What's it called? Ninkada, Ninja, and Shininja. And team left, you have... Can't see it very well on the side. A trainer. I I know who she is, but I can't remember her name. She's the fairy type trainer from the Alola region. Non hollow. So Team Right could easily steal this point back and it could be two all. Uh, oh, I'd rather go for Tyrantrum if I'm honest, guys. That's, uh, even though we're not really paying attention, and I feel bad for that. I don't get some awesome packs! That's me with a pair of scissors looking like a madman. This is just so much fun. I have, I'm so glad you guys are here as well with me watching because like, I haven't opened packs like this in such a long time. It just feels so fun to get back into it. and like, like I've got my binder here ready for after stream so I can set up all like the cards in the right order and stuff like that. Team Right, what have you got? you got a Wigglytuff. Ooh, I don't like you. Oh, oh Jigglypuff. <laughs> got a Vesper Quinn. With a... Uh, Cutie fly. Yeah. Oh, another tangly. There we go. We've got two now. And oh my god, really? Is this a hitter or is it a hitter hollow? What is it? Oh, we got a double. We got a chandelier. Okay. So first double of the set. Uh, I need to take an attack and go with it. First double of the set, guys. Which it was bound to happen. It was bound to happen. Still a very nice card. Let's put that up. So that point does go to right. So we got left again. Or right again. Somebody needs a point here because it's tied up right now. So we got left and we got right. Left or right. Is this thing gonna die in one turn? Impressive. Left or right, folks. This is such a fun box. I love it. I think I'm definitely going to have to go for this again. Team right, jumping in. Well, Dark Fury playing for both teams there, I think. You just want as many points as you can get. Yeah, I would definitely advise if you're a bit nervous about uh, like cutting packs, maybe don't do it. Like my heart is racing every time I cut them. To the front. And for Team Right we go. Oh, a Tangle Growth. There we go. So we need him for the evolution. That's good. A Kecleon. A Curlier. Yep, Curlier. That's cool. I'll take Curlier. Another Ninja. And. Oh, that trainer again. So just another. Uh, well, uncommon. It's, I'm pretty sure if somebody wants to Google it, I'm pretty sure on the Japanese cards uh, we've got Suez. 
Because yeah, on the on the hollow here it says R, so I'm guessing rare. Um, and then on the obviously you've got uh, C and U. So I'm guessing C is common, U is uh, uncommon, R is rare, and then I mean the ones the really good ones have R, R on them. So I'm guessing like not ultra rare, but. I wouldn't say rare there, because that doesn't make any sense, but you know what I mean. Um, okay, so this is pack number 12. Team Mark got a common there, so it should be an easy win for Team Lefty. It should be an easy point right there. Nothing to see here, it's just a can of blue liquid. Absolutely nothing else. Okay. So we've got, I get, oh no, I think there's, there's different, I've just realised there's different symbols in each of the tags. So this is like, it's like the fairy tag, but with a fighting in, a fighting symbol in it. Oh, Sableye! How cute! cute. Another Trico. The Vulpix. Oh. Team left's taking that one easily with another shame and another double. A barracle. Another double up on the shaman. So we've got two shaman and two chandelure rares. So we might need to do something with them. Right, so we've gone through. How's I attack? Die! Six. Cool. So we've gone through twelve of those. Ignore the uh, ignore the box. Ignore the robots. Right. So we can either keep going through. Oh, we can see it forward too much. Ow! Uh, we can either keep going through the Fairy Rise box, or we could maybe make a start on the Forbidden Lie. I was going to maybe save this until I could guarantee myself another box, um, but the people who uh, I bought this off assured me that they are going to get more uh, of these and other boxes in stock, so... I wouldn't mind taking a risk, you know, in case, but what do you guys think? Do we keep opening Fairy Rise, or do we start opening some forbidden light? Just like you see on the Price is Right. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, show all this crap here. Uh, so what do you guys think? Forbidden Light, or keep going with Fairy Rise? We've opened 12 out of the 30 Fairy Rise packs, which means there's... There's 18 left. Forbidden Light says Voidry. Has anyone else got an opinion? Anyone else think? Yeah, Forbidden Light. Okay, I'll crack them open. Until until I actually opened that box, until I actually started opening them, I was I was like dead set in my mind. I'm not going to open it. But I've had an email through from the people I bought it from, Pokeran, saying they are going to get more more like of this and other things in stock, so if I wanted more, don't worry kind of thing. So I'm more than happy to open it because I'm having too much fun opening these. And honestly, I could probably rip through all those packs in like a second if I, you know. Not that I'm not going to rip through these either, but there's a box, there's one on the site you can see in there. I want him. We're going to jump into some Forbidden Light. Um, spicy. We're going to jump into some Forbidden Light now. And just open a couple of these packs. I think we'll probably do 12 again. We'll probably do 12 of these like we just did with them. And then there's 18 left in both boxes. Because ah! um, I've, had an, I've had an email. Uh, not much. Double Shaman, that's kind of it. Yeah, we had a Double Shaman. We've had him again. And we've also had a Double Chandelure. So now we've got two of the Hollow Rares. 
so I'll decide what we do. Oh, we've got uh, Katana, that's cool. Uh, so I'll decide what we're doing with them eventually. Um, not 100% sure. But now we're going to crack into a bit of life. Oh. This one's a bit stiffer than the last one. There we go. Oh, the packs are... Oh, this sounds really weird, but the packs are such a pretty colour. There we go. Sorry guys, I know I'm being a bit weird about how I open the boxes, but these are actually the first complete booster boxes I've actually bought in Japanese, so but I've bought booster boxes of other sets before, but these are the first Japanese ones I've ever bought, so right. I don't know the set as well for this. Um, I've looked at some of the cards, but I don't know it like really well. So this will be just just a bigger surprise to me as it will be for you guys. So I, I really should have brought like a rubbish bag in here or something. There's so much rubbish. Um, so are we going left or are we going whoo, right? They both feel very light. Whoo, bit of light. Uh, left or right. Such nice packaging, by the way, guys. Like, look at the packaging. In on itself, it's not good. We're going right. Spicy Online's calling right. He hasn't called one for a bit, so we'll go with right. We got two for right. Sorry, Dark, for, Dark Fury. So we're going to have to go with the ride. But you never know, Dark Fury, you might win on Team Left. You might win. Team Left might get a point on that, so this is Team Right. They might not get anything. Oh, but we do have a nice Zygarde. That's pretty cool. Buckle Bug. Oh, that's such a cool artwork for Panchan. As I haven't really looked much at the artwork or the cards. Oh, we just got swept cards. So I don't really know what's in these. This is the last one, I think. No, there's another one. Uh, uh, Flabebe, if I'm right, if I said that right. And, oh, Team Right coming in, we, uh, coming in, coming in with a slow start on the, uh, on the rare, which is an uncommon map of some sort. I'm going to have to try and keep the, uh, Fairy Rise and these are separate. No shiny on that run. Pretty sure. Yeah, no shiny on that run. Let me just jump into a, another run really quickly, and then we'll get into Dark Fury's left pack. Uh, you find, yep, I'm fine without taking them. So, what I might do, actually, since we are Fossil Excavation Map. Fossil Excavation Map, thank you. So what I'm going to do is, for now, since we're opening Forbidden Light, put the Fairy Rise in here. We can put the doubles in just to keep them nice and secure. This is why I always keep tens around, just in case. There we go. There we go. Um, hand it over the rent of Pokemon. Next. What was he? How much did he cut off? He cut off a little bit of his head, which is fine. I say, I know it seems weird, but I do want to try and save the pack arts as best as possible, even though the pack arts are all the same throughout the throughout the pack, uh, throughout the box. You don't get like four different pack arts. So let's set up another one. Uh, are you? Nope. I don't want to erase anything because those are actually the ones I want to do. Uh, anything's fine. Yep. Just put me in the raid, woman. Put me in. Invite others. Okay, so for Team Left, we have got a Clawitzer, I think that is, the Evolve form. Clauncher is the, uh, the first form, I think. Kefli a Keeflink, or Keflink, however you want to pronounce it. I pronounce it Keeflink. A Scalp, it's... Uh, oh, Scalp, I'm calling him. Huh, I do know his name. Oh, a Brakeson. That's kind of cute. I think I've actually seen somebody pull this before on uh, TikTok. 
And team left coming in with... Oh, another non-hollow, uncommon. Uh, I, I have no idea what that is. Stone thingy with gems in it, I'm going to say. Um, I have no idea what that is. I think that's the only problem with, obviously, Japanese or Chinese or Korean packs, is you have no idea what the name of the card is. Um, so, I'm going to say it's a tie, straight off the bat, for those two packs. Are we going to go in with left, or are we going to go in with right to start this time? Obviously, Team Right got two on the vote, on the vote last time, and, I mean, well, neither pack had anything great. Skrell. So, I was close. I was close with Skell. Kind of. Somewhat. I almost got it right, okay? I almost got it right. Thank you, though, Voyager, for being my uh, little encyclopedia tonight. Um, left or right? What are we saying, folks? Not opening until somebody votes. No, I'll, I'll open them eventually. we we'll go with the uh, Nido King. We've got Voyager saying left. He's jumping ship to team left this time. Can we see if Voyager is on his own? Is anyone else going to say left with him? Anyone else think there's something good in pack on the left? Come on, great. Ooh. Whoop! I'm loving this. Oh, I'm sorry. Now we've got a Florgius, which is the fully evolved form, so that's pretty cool actually. I'd like to go for the War Turtle. Fury's going with left as well, he's sticking to his guns. Another Flamebe. Flamebe! Digger of I love saying Digger of Bleep. Digger of Bleep! Oh, Cubone. Aww. Oh, God, I've just seen... <laughs> That's so mean. If you can see the cloud, it's shaped like a Cubone skull. Is it on the raid, do you mean? Because, yeah, fair, good guess would be a Xerneas. Then we've got... <gasps> oh my god! Uh, Dark Fury. What is this witchery that you have performed? I wanted this card from the Fairy Rising set, from the Fairy Rise set, but I'll take it from this set. What is this witchery for, for Fury? Yeah. I think Xerneas, I think you're right. Oh, that's such a pretty card. Oh my word. I am officially in love with this thing. That is beautiful. That is so cool. That is so cool. I'm just going to leave that here for a second. Just like, just take that in. While I put the commons with the rest of the commons. That is absolutely awesome. And that's only, that's only three packs in. There we go. That's our first hitter. And I, that's the best hitter I think we could have gotten as our first hitter from Forbidden Light. Like, that is absolutely amazing. Good guess, for, uh, Fury. Good guess. Yeah, whatever dark magic you've got there, just, you know, share it with the rest of us. Shiny look and card pulls and all that. So, that was for Team Left. I mean, Team Right, you're going to have to pull something amazing out of it. Anyone who is Team Right, that is, like... You're gonna have to pull something amazing out of this car, out of this pack because like that just knocked out the car. I think the only thing that would pull this back would be like a rainbow or a, a gold card. That is, I can't stop. I'm, I'm trying to like show you these, but I can't stop looking at that. Uh, so what's that? I think that's oh, that's the uh, oh what are they called in X and Y T, uh, Team Flare. That's the Team Flare base. I know that. Oh, Helioptile! I've actually, I think I've got this card. I think Sam sent me this. 
But did he send me a different? No, I think he sent me a different one. Um, there you go. I've got two Japanese blue rocks out there. A scuffle bug. In a, isn't that a different artwork than the one we've already pulled? Yeah, okay, so Scuttlebug has, has more than one artwork for it. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, I don't want that. I want it shiny, but I don't want it for my team. Ah, uh, oh, Froki! That's so cute. And then... What? What is this? What is this? We got Zygon! No way! Oh! What is this? Fudgery! What is life? What are these poles? Where are they coming from? I'm gonna sleep for you, my friend. Uh, I'll let you guys pick. I'm not bothered. We've just pulled a Zygon and I want to get it into a nice little. Please. What is this? That is absolute. I mean, I think we're gonna have to call that a bit of a tie, right? I mean, I think I think left wins just for just for Fury saying that it was a Xerneas, and I I think you were talking about the game, yet you managed to guess the card. So that is absolutely awesome. Two big hitters in one go. Like I can't. I don't know. I I just love it. I'm so happy right now. I need to. In my hand. Oh, it's just starting to hit my back a bit though because I'm leaning a lot. That is so cool. What an awesome set so far already. Like four packs in and we've got two big hitters. Alright, so we're gonna go left or we're gonna go right. Let me just pick a move quickly. Uh We've got the best attack in the uh, Yeah, okay, so the best attack in the five power. Okay, so we're gonna go left or we're gonna go right. I think it's just I don't I don't know if my uh, stream manager's lying to me, so I think it's just you and you and Voidry uh, Fury, so left or right guys, which one do you want? I don't know if it's the line for me. I don't know if Spicy's still here. If he's, I know he's doing his homework right now. God bless him. Got left or right? Fury's going right. Voidry, are you saying right? We're gonna go with right. Fury called, Fury called it first. But are you gonna stay with? T are you gonna stay with Team Right? Or are you gonna jump over to left and see if they get a better card? Could happen. Team Right could have absolutely nothing in this pack. Trying to pay attention to the uh, to the raiders at the same time, but honestly, these cards, <laughs> Japanese cards, are the best. Okay, so we've got a, uh, a Vivion, I believe. Vivion is the correct uh, way to say that, I believe. Another Cubone looking at his dead mother in the sky. God bless him. Hone Edge, that's pretty. I like Hone Edge. I like the shiny Hone Edge better. But that's still a very nice card. Gumi! I like Gumi. I want the I want the full set for Gumi. I think there is a GX Gudra in this. And a Pang uh, Pangoro, if I'm looking at that right. A Pangoro, non-hollow. But it is an uncommon, so that is actually pretty cool. So we can put that in a set. That'd be nice. Collective. So Team uh, Team Left, it is in team it could it could be in Team Left. Dark Fury, you could have been wrong. It could all be in Team Left. Wow. Yahoo! Let's see what team left packing. So far, I'd say it's already a draw. I mean, I think Dark Fury. I think you win that one just because you get the win. But uh, oh, Angus, Angus Lash, or Angus Shield. I don't know which one. Angus. I think it's Angus Shield. Or Angus Lash. Sorry, Angus Lash. Um, Voidry saying team left. So Voidry saying, oh, Hone Edge again. That's got two artworks as well. That's pretty cool. I like cards when they've got multiple artworks. I think it gives a lot more to the set. Fennekin. Nice fire type, but we'll just hit you with high horsepower. Another Helioctile. And for team left, we've got... 
It's a, uh, what was the map called again, sorry? It was, you said it's somewhere just above here. Fossil excavation map. So, I'd say it's a tie again there, guys, so. Got a nice little stack coming up already. So we got team right, and we got team left again. Are you guys sticking with your team? Are you are you are you team left now, Voyagery and Dark Fu Dark Fury? Are you sticking team right? I need a drink because I'm losing my throat because I'm just in love with opening these cards. Ah, I know. We've already had two sick pulls though. I mean, like we can't really keep track of how many left will have their revenge. Okay, so I think Voyagery is definitely sticking to the left. Um, just from the sound of that that statement, right will dominate. Okay. I, th I think we've, we've started something here. I, I don't know if I need to be concerned or, or, or find a moderator for you two, but so uh, I tell you what, since right went first last time, left can go first this time. I'm going to go with left first and see if they are packing the heat. Don't know why I said it like that. I feel like I was offended for some reason. <laughs> right now, you are both tied up with it when it comes to Forbidden Light, so. Uh, I don't want it. One to the front. And here we go. Uh, so these are, this is pack seven and eight. So we've got four more to go through. A multi-clustered energy, I'm guessing. Unleash true potential. Oh dear. I, I think I've started something here, and I think we might need moderators for you guys. Uh, we've got a Gumi. Oh, that's got two artworks as well. Oh, that's so cool. This is so awesome! Oh, Furfuru. Furfuru! You cute little doggo. Not as cute as you though, Scrappy. A... Is it Go... No, this isn't Go-Go. This is... Which one is this? Skidoo. Skidoo, that's it. And team left has got... Oh, a nice hollow look, uh, lichen rock. That is a good card right there, guys. I will say team, right, uh, team left... <laughs> Coming in hard with this one. It was Skidoo, thank you. So team left, you are coming in hard. Voidry hitting hard with the first hollow of the set. It's a bit difficult to get the... There you go. That was a nice shine to that hollow. So Voidry, there we go. First hollow of the set goes to team left. So team right, can you pull something even more shiny than that? Even though I don't think there is shinies in this set, so I shouldn't have said it like that anyway. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> we need a rock rough to go with that now, actually. We need rock rough. Oh, crap. That's the edge. There we go. Don't worry, I haven't killed the... Right, we'll pull through. As in, pull, because you, you pick the pull, like... I get... I, I like the pull. I like it. That's pack eight. So we've got four more, two more for each side. I've already put it. Oh, we've got Bonnie. There you go. Hey, Bonnie. He's from X and Y. Palucha, one of one of them, uh, one of the Pokemon from Ash's team in that series. Oh, Flabebe, but another artwork. There's a lot of multiple artworks in this set. I'm actually really loving that. And we've got a Breaks in. I would love this in a Hollow. <laughs> really good Hollow. And then team, this is team right. Team right, you've got, oh, a hollow ultra beast. Uh, I can never say her name. I know it, but I can never say it. I mean, you guys are going to be a little bit biased being on opposite teams, but I'm going to have to say, like, who do you think won? I don't think so, because you only get five packs. You only get five packs. <laughs> That'd be terrible for the money. Uh, you only get five cards a pack, so I don't think you can get a god pack. I'm not sure. I, I know you can get god packs from Shining Star V and from some of the newer sets which have more cards. There's, there's, I can't say that. I, I, that. I know that's the name, but I, I can't say that. Uh, but who do you think won? Who do you think won? Left or right? I mean, that's a nice Lucario, but that is also a hollow Ultra Beast. Like, I'll let you guys decide in the chat, because those are some nice cards. I love the Lucario. I think Lucario is probably my favourite out of the two. 
So I'd have to give it. I'd have to give it to Team Left, uh, Team Right. Uh, but I think Team Left really did pull out a hitter there. Put some nice cards. I am really right wing. Okay, right wing. Well, I I will actually agree. No, let. Oof. See now I've got now I've got to split now I've got to split the votes here because like I will say I like the Lycan Rock a lot because I love Lycan Rock I think it's adorable and it is dust form they not dust we have got midday form I forget they 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 come up with so many wacky things now but it's it, it's like Ash's Lycan Rock basically and it looks really cool Team Left charge see if this was anyone else's live stream I'd probably be charging into Team Left right now. So, let's see, I think the left went uh, first last time, so right, wait no, right went first last time, so left gets to go first this time. So, I'm going to give that point to team uh, right, because I do like, I do love the Lycan Rock, I'm so sorry Voidry, uh, but we are going to have to give that to the right side this time. But you've got your pack right here on team left, and hopefully we can pull team left an amazing hitter. Mostly because all these hitters are going in my collection and I can't wait. It sounds so nerdy, but I can't wait to sit here and organise all these cards. <laughs> what did you do with your night? Oh, I just sat and organised Pokemon cards. Really? I went out and did things like this. Okay. Oh, it's a Tapu Lele! Cool. Uh, so that's Tapu 9. That's cool. We will make a comeback. There you go, you could make a comeback with this. I think that's like an energy switch card. Ponage. A pre-evolution to Barbarical. I forget his name all the time. I forget her name all the time. It evolves from the blade the blade the blade the baby. The baby and obviously it evolves into uh Florgeous. Does anyone know her name? I can't think of it off the top of my head. Oh, I need to actually go And, oh, there's another card here. Oh, and have a look. That's interesting. He looks very small in this. Like, he looks very dainty in this card. Very tiny. And being left from... Oh, no, that was it. Have I just had a short pack? No. No, I just miscounted cards. No, that was it. That was your... We've got an uncommon. Have a look. So, Voyager, you're going you're gonna to have to hope that we pull an awful, awful card from this team left pack. A uh, team right pack, sorry. I keep saying this backwards. <laughs> You'd think I'd understand this by now. You'd think I'd um, Yeah, we need to pull something terrible from this team right pack. But team right, if you want to win that point, you're going to have to hit some clovers in the chat. Get some clovers in the chat. Some good old luck. I don't know what you'd put in, I don't know what you'd put in the chat voyagery for bad luck. Maybe black cat or something like that, I don't know. <laughs> Team right sabotage. Oh, is that what you did? Is that that makes a lot of sense actually, because that other look just looks weird. Um, oh we got a double colourless energy, so that's actually a cool card for you in the ECG. Helioist! I love Helioist, he's so cool. I love his shiny cool. he's Probably one of my favourite shinies. Ah, Sligu. We just need Gudra. And the second part for Hone Edge, which is still really nice. It's lying in the forest. It's not really cool. Team Right has pulled. Oh, an Aegis Slash. Uncommon. I'm going to have to say that's a tie right there, guys, because they're both uncommon cards. And they're both. Well, we've actually already pulled him already so he's a double and Avalug is the first one that's the first Avalug we've pulled so yeah we're gonna have to call that one a bit of a tie there folks so it's still one to right and we've got two more packs to pull which is I'm pretty sure we've got two more packs to pull one two three four need to remember to do this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah so we've got two more packs to pull So we got the left and we got the right. Obviously, team left went first the last one. Team right, this is your last pack to earn that point. Obviously, it'll end in a tie if not. 
And if it ends in a tie, I mean, I guess we'll have to open a few more packs. I mean, oh, well. I guess I'll have to sit here and just go through these packs and enjoy what I'm doing even more. I'm enjoying this far too much. Oh, we beat Tapu Lele, that's good. I haven't been paying attention at all to <laughs> Okay, um, we haven't got any beast balls, so I'm just going to throw a luxury ball in your face, and you're going to love it, Tapu Lele. So, Team Right, we said, has got this Meow Stick. I think that's the male form? Yes, I'm pretty sure that's the male form Meow Stick. A, oh, a Zygarde 10% form, that's pretty cool. Focus up nicely. There you go. You can see it a bit better if I keep my hands very still. That's really nice. A fossil. I don't know what fossil, but a fossil. Ah! Oh, Eevee! That's adorable. Look at it. It's sitting like all nice in the forest. That's not a shiny, is it? I don't think so. No. This is Team Right. This is your team. Fury, this is you. And no shinies, guys. So, can we get a good pull to make up for no shinies? Ooh! That is a cool pull right there. So, you've got Pyro, male form in the front, and then you've got an, um, Lysander, which is the villain from obviously X and Y in the background from Team Flare. That is a nice pull. It is definitely that's definitely worth the rare symbol in the bottom corner there. That is lovely. I actually really like that pull. Let me get a sleeve for it. I'm gonna have to start using some of my other sleeves. I will say though, this does mean Team Left could definitely, definitely claw back that point for the draw. There we go. That's actually a really pretty pull. I like that card. And back my internet cut out. Oh, I'm so sorry, Spicy. So. I did wonder where he'd gone. Like, let's just go through the hits quickly before we go into the left into the left pack. So we've got a Pyro Hollow, Lycan Rock, a Pokemon I can't say the name of. These are all from the Forbidden Light box, by the way. We've cracked open that now. A Zygarde GX. And a Xerneas GX. We got these in the, the third and the fourth pack. Like, properly, properly early hitters. Um, so, absolutely amazing. Some really nice pulls so far. We're just about to see if Team Left can tie it up for Forbidden Light. One all. Put those on there. Uh, I don't want to erase any records. Let me just... Whoop! So it's good, it's good you're back, Spicy, because we actually needed a tiebreaker, somebody to, to split the vote here, because I had to do it, and I felt awful doing it. But let's see if uh, if Team Left can pull something better than this rare. Team Left can pull something better than this Pyro rare, which I will say, I'm, actually, I'm absolutely in love with. It's got Lysander in the background, I think it's really pretty. So if Team Left can pull something better, then... They, they win the point, and then obviously we go in. We'll have to open more packs, guys. I can't leave you guys on a tie. That's just... I can't do that. No, we'll have to. We'll have to open more packs. Definitely. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun. Uh, what are we going for? Anything is fine. Great. So we put one to the front. So we've got a Vivian. Vivian! Scuttlebug. A Lucha. Another fossil, and here we go. Here's the card. Oh, oh, team left, team left. Your Velto. There you go. We've got your Velto GX, which means we've got the full set there of XYZ. I mean, you love to see it. You love to see it. Team left coming in and just taking that last point away. So it's one all for the Forbidden Light. Heck yeah, indeed. So there we go. That's actually really cool because that means if I just put them in the middle of each other, we've got all three 
of the main tier legendaries. Suck it right. Okay, 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 okay. Let, let's not let's not uh, let's not start reading the pitch and you know scrapping it scrapping it out and all that stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go for Salazzle. Salazzle. So I mean, I guess, I guess I can't leave it tied up. So I'm gonna have to open more. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think we definitely need a moderator for these two now. Um, but that is absolutely awesome. Ah, oh, some awesome pulls right there. So we're definitely gonna have to open some more packs because we can't just leave. We can't just leave it at that. We can't just leave it. <laughs> are you, are you're gonna you're gonna be the dad of the group, are you, Sparks? Yeah. I, okay. I, I I think that'll that'll help. Stop them from swearing at the players on the pitch. Yeah. Right, so we've got team left, team right. Uh, I can't remember who went first last time, so the first person to say it in the chat. So first person to say left, first person to say right, that's the one we'll go with. First left or first right, that's where we'll go. Oh, we've got that. Spicy. Thank you, Spicy. Set up, set up, and the next one, and the next one. Oh, why did we go against a lowland duck trio? I can't really do much against it. Oh, the Spicy. God bless him. Only 19 and he's already managed to adopt two people from Twitch. God bless you. Um, I'm sorry, Boyd, but Spicy jumped on the right, so he's he's got that first one. So, we have got... Spicy's on my side. <laughs> oh, dear. Spicy, I think you might have just put yourself in the middle of the war now. Some kind of priest. Oh, dear. I love our chats. They always go somewhere. They always go somewhere. I don't know where, but they go. So we've got a Sylveon, that's absolutely awesome, Dancing in the Moonlight, that's really cute. We haven't had it yet. Oh, we've got a Hooper! Hoopa! Ale Hoopa Ring! That's awesome. Hey, I couldn't remember the name of this card, Spicy, so if you remember the name of this card, because I, I definitely don't remember the name of it. It evolves from Flabebe, but evolved into Florgeous. Can't quite remember the name of it. And another Kurt Brew. And team right, we've got Floet. That's it, Floet. Thank you, thank you. Team right, what have we got? Oh, we've got a trainer card. I'm guessing like a referee. What he looks like. Uh, we'll catch this. Not in a master ball. Danger, danger. So team left, I'm afraid. Uh, sorry, team right, I'm afraid. Team left is coming in. Could come in for the win easy on this one. They could easily take the win off this one. There we go. So team le uh, team right just went in with an uncommon. Uh, yeah, uncommon. Thank you, Dark Dark Fury. I love I love these streams too because whether it's one person or ten people, we always have we always have a lot of fun in these streams. And now that I've got some cards to open, it's get, it, you know I think it's a lot a lot of, a lot of fun because you guys can sort of almost battle it out. You know, team left, team right, who gets it, who doesn't, kind of thing. So. And this is for the point, really. This is this is for the big point. I didn't even look what legendary we're going against. So rare can I know that. That's a rare candy for sure. Uh, that is a dub blade or uh, yeah, dub blade. I think is how you say it. We're against the grass type. Team middle. Stay neutral, spicy. I like it. I like the attitude. Stay neutral. You'll have to with the uh, with dark with dark Fu dark fury and the uh, uh, voidry there going team left and team right. Execute. Don't really love the toy style artwork on that one. And this is it. So team left. Team left. Are you going to take the win on this? Oh, if I can pull the card down. Oh, we got a double. So, I mean, it is it is better than the ultra rare, but it is a double. So, hmm, hmm, hmm. I am still going to put it in a nice sleeve because I want to keep that stuff protected. Like great crazy breaking up Kyogre and ground on. Definitely. Definitely. I think we're going to have to give the point to team left there. I think we're definitely going to have to give a point to team left there. So it is 2 1. With the team left leading by 1. Which means we're gonna we're gonna open more packs. We are definitely opening more. Like so, we've got we've gone through 14 of them, which means 10 out of 30. 
we'll lose 20, and then obviously knock four out, we'll lose 16. So we've got left, or we've got right. First thing to see, first thing I see, first thing I see, left or right. Left or right. Yep, I said I had to check my hands on to make sure I was looking. Team left, I'm going to go with that Voidry, because I think she was saying, and Spicy said left as well. So we're going to go with that. So team left goes first, <coughs> first this time. Need a drink. Definitely need a drink. <coughs> Don't worry, Dark Fury, though, because you might team left might get nothing, and you might be able to pull an easy win. You never know. Captain Jack, as in from um, as in the advert for the for the drink. Oh no, that's Captain Morgan. Now. Um, right, so we've got, oh, another Sylveon straight away. We had one of these last time. Fennekin. Oh, it is from, yeah, from the advert. Okay, I was right. That's another artwork for Fennekin as well. So that's got double artwork as well. That's so cool. I love all these double artworks. A Frogadier. Frogadier. Another Zygarde, 10% form. And for team left, you have got a non-hollow male Meow Stick. Power of the left side has let you down that time though, Voidry. I mean, you're going to have to really, really hope that they get some terrible cards in Team Right. We may have Yveltal, the, the Pokemon of Destruction, but is he going to destroy Team Right's chances of taking this point? Is that, is that what's going to happen right now? Or is Team Right going to take it and tie up the vote again? So we have an... Oh, Amora! That is awesome. Oh, it's still attacking. That is awesome. I love Amora. And then we've got Froakie. Another artwork for Froakie, too. So that's two artworks for Froakie. Kefling with a little heart shape. <laughs> let's, 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 maybe not call Spicy down. Oh dear. Uh, we got a, 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 swo a swooper or a spooper, however you want to say it. I think swooper. But I think some people tend to call it spooper. And then for team right, we've got. Oh, a GX Greninja! Oh, Dark Fury, are you seeing this pull right here? For the good old team right. That is excellent. That is a sick card. Where's Shiny Greninja tonight? Where is the boy? I think we're going to have to start using random sleeves until I get some new ones, so... Yep, looks like we're definitely going to have to use some random sleeves. I'll use these, uh... I'm going to have to use these, uh, Sword and Shield sleeves, which doesn't really go with the Sun and Moon set, but, you know... That is a gorgeous pull. That is an absolutely stunning pull. That is awesome. I'm glad we, out of all the starters we could have got fully evolved, I'm glad we got Greninja. That is really cool. Yep, we'll catch you. I have no idea where we are, so I'm just going to throw Premier Balls at all these. You'll, you'll notice, Spicy, we, we really uh, we really don't um, know what's going on with the raids right now. We're just sort of in the raids. Right here. Um, whether we know what's happening is a different story. So... That's, I think, 14 packs for Forbidden Life. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, twelve, fourteen, 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 sixteen. Okay, so there'll be 14 packs left, if my math is correct. So, I think what we'll do is we'll go through close that we'll go we'll have because actually yeah we'll do four more from fairy rising because that would be there we go uh, we'll do four more from fairy rising because that would also be uh, 16 packs of fairy rising tonight I keep saying Fairy Rising, it's Fairy Rise. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So yeah, we'll do four more. So I'm going to get two, 14 left. 
and two for team right. So these are the team left packs. These are the team uh, right packs. Oh, I need that shell belt. Team right in front of me. There we go. So team left or team right? Let's see where we go. Oh, I've got three for team right. Put that back. There we go. That's the back one. So yeah, that's right. We've got three. Uh, team right. So we're opening one from team right first. I'll put team left this side so I remember. Spicy, I think you've adopted two people already. Like, I, I think you need to be careful now. Dishing out warnings and stuff. So, let me put these over here. Oh, ten minutes, I can just put these in the tent. Once we're done, once we're done. Go, let's see what else we can get. I really hope we get like a... If we can get a rainbow from this fairy rise box, I'd be absolutely, absolutely gods, gobsmacked that we could do that. But obviously we'll just have to wait and see. So we've got a oh we got a Maweta! We got a Maweta, that's really cool actually. That's a mythical. Never get twins. <laughs> we've got a we got a female Kobe. This is this is his reminder. I don't want kids. He'll just he'll just watch this stream back. <laughs> oh, we got Morello again. Oh god. Vincada and for team right, we are going with. Oh, we got it! Oh my god! I I wanted this Mimikyu. This is it. I need a sleeve right now. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to show this to Mama Mills on Instagram later. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to show that to Mama Mills later. She is gonna be so jelly. Look at the shine on it. Oh my word, the, the ring light. Re like, that's how much the, the whole thing is like a massive hollow effect. Like, the whole ring light is. I need to sort of shadow the ring light a little bit. I can't even get like a shadow on it. Oh my god. This is Team Right. This is Team Right, Dark Fury. This is it. That is such a pull for Team Right. Oh my god. Like, even looking at it myself, I can barely get the hollow effect there. I can see the rainbow effect in it as well. Oh my god. God, that is awesome. Hell yes, Team Right. That is an epic, like, that is an epic pull. That is an epic pull. Right, I'm going to do one from left. I'm, so, I'm sorry, Team Left, but I think Team Right's just taking a big, big lead right there, because that is just an amazing pull. Team Left, what are, what are, what is going on right there? Like, I keep... I'm not paying any attention to the raid as well because I'm just so in love with that. Oh my god. That is an absolute epic pull. Put these in the sort of. Ow, I just nearly pulled my ears off. Right, team left. Can you redeem yourselves with a Dedene? And then Carter. I haven't got any of these cards in Japan. I've got two of these cards in, in, in English. But this is a Prism card. These are so cool. I mean, that's a really good pull. But can we get two hitters? In, like, that's a hitter right there. Can we get two hitters in one pack? We've got another Meloetta. I'm actually quite scared right now. Let me just do this attack quickly so I don't annoy my teammates. Okay, so it's not two hitters in one pack. But it is a, it's a, oh no, it's a card, I thought that would be an un oh wait. Wait, did I do the trick? Did I put, I put a card to the front. But that's the comp, that's a common, and that's a uncommon. So, hmm, weird. Okay, that's a prism card. I'm sorry, but team, team left has definitely won that one. Uh, no, sorry, Team Right. Team Right has won that one with the Mimikyu card, because that Mimikyu is gorgeous. 
Yeah, he's he's gonna watch the stream back, so that way in the last so in the last ten minutes, if you guys you know if you start saying anything mean, he's gonna know about it. So I'll, I'll say it in the stream. Uh, so we're gonna go with Team Wright's last pack after I catch this Vile Plume. That's way ahead of the Premier Bulls. There we go. Put these in there. So just again, Team Wright definitely takes that point for that many teams. Prism Xerneas is lovely and it goes well with the Xerneas that we pulled from Forbidden Light but still that is just an awesome miniature. I can't wait to sit down and organise these cards. Like it sounds so nerdy and like you know get a girlfriend kind of thing but I don't care. Boys. Right Team Right, can you pull one last hitter for the night? Not the belt! <laughs> oh dear. I, have we suddenly turned into an 80s sitcom here? Like, what's going on, guys? Team Right, what have you got? You've got a a fighting fairy charm, or a, a fighting charm, I'm not sure what that is. A Rolts. Sableye. A Jigglypuff. No, thank you. I don't want another Pokemon. And for the last Team Right pack card, we have got... Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a Giratina! Dark Fury, you love Giratina! Look at that! There you go, you've got a, you've got, you've got a Giratina right there, that's actually pretty cool. But I will say, this does mean there is some space for Team uh, the team left to come in. Shiny Greninja! I'm so glad you're here! Where is it? Where is it? We need to. I need to show you this. Look what we pulled! We pulled a Greninja! It's you in a car! Oh dear, we're against Zephyr. There we go, we got a Greninja. We pulled a Greninja from uh, Forbidden Life in Japanese. Uh, really nice. So there you go, shiny Greninja. Greninja. Um, so, we've just pulled this from um, Team Right. But Team Left has got one last pack. And I think... I think they could possibly take something here. Uh, I need to attack this thing, otherwise, you know, I'm just sitting here. Let's throw a Toxic at it. So, team left, come on. Oh, yeah, and we got a uh, Shiny Lampant as well. We got a new Shiny. So, everything uh, everything went really well for this stream tonight. I'm really chuffed with it all. Let's see what we get. We've got the team left, team left last pack of the night. We've got a nest ball. That is a nest ball, right? Just to double check with everyone. Got a nest ball, I believe. A jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. Uh, these are uh, this pack. It's, uh, this pack is uh, uh, fairy rise, and we've also been opening some from under here, which are forbidden light. Yeah, there you go. Forbidden light and. Uh, Sadly, I can't get can't get my hands on shiny. But if I could get my hands on some shiny fates, I would get a lot of extras and you know try and do something with them. But I can't get my hands on shiny fates. It's either extraordinarily expensive, or it's it's just not in stock anywhere. Um, we've got a Litwick. We've got a Curlier. Team left. Last pull of the knife. Is it going to be a big hitter? Is it going to beat? Can you beat? The Hollow Giratina, can you beat it? Oh, Team Left. I'm afraid we end the night Team Left with a Tangler Growth. Team Right ends it with quite a beautiful Giratina, but which I am def I know this sounds really mean, but I'm definitely gonna flex this on TikTok in a bit. A gorgeous Mimikyu from Team Right. Thank you so much for that, that's amazing. Absolutely in love with that. So these are all Fairy Rise. And let me just get the Fairy Rise hitters together and we'll go through them. So obviously Shiny Greninja's coming a little bit late, so I'll go through all these hitters for him. Oh, <laughs> that'd be nice. Let's be nice, guys. Be nice to each other. Um, oh, 
okay, so... No, okay. Um, so for... Oh, God, I'm losing my words. Uh, so for Fairy Rise, we have a Chandelure Hollow. I need to attack this thing, otherwise I'm just sitting here doing nothing. A Shaman Hollow. A Sigilith GX, which I think is... I don't think it's the full off. I think that would be... This would be the Hyper Rare? No. Super Rare? I'm not sure. We've got this awesome Sceptile, which I'm absolutely in love with. I mean, that is a brilliant card. And then we've got two doubles, which is this Shaman. And oh, this Chandelure. And then we end the night with this absolutely incredible mimic pupil. I mean, I've kind of lost the words on this mimic pupil. Giratina. And a Prism Xerneas. Absolutely beautiful card. All of those are hitters for fairy rides. And we will go over for Shiny Greninja. the Forbidden Light Hitters, which is this Ultra Beast, which I know the name of, I can't say the name of it, it just it tongue twists me every time. Obviously you've already met our friend Greninja. These sleeves are bigger than those two, so it's a bit hard to, there we go. Uh, your Veltol. Yeah, see everyone, everyone knows the name of it, but can you say the name of it? That's the question I need answering. Can you say the name of it? Because I can't. Um, your Veltol, Cairo Hollow, which is absolutely lovely because if you can see there in the background you have Lysander, Lycan Rock Hollow, Thermosa, 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 is that right? Thermosa Hollow, we've got a double of her, Zygarde, 100% form, oh wait I've already crafted the attack. And Xerneas, 100% full. So from the Forbidden Light set, we actually got the full set of Legendaries, which is actually really nice. Say it slower. Boromosa. 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 Okay. I'm going to go with Boromosa. I'm really having too much fun opening these, but I need to save some. I can't just burn through all the packs in one night. That would be crazy. Well, we could. I could open one from each. I could open one more from each. Oh, got it. So. I've opened. I hope you didn't actually see which side I picked these packs from. Otherwise, that, you know, that's cheating. So I know which side these packs are from. But you guys don't know which side these packs are from. So, now, Shiny Greninja, Voidry is a big, um, is a big supporter of Team Left, and Dark Fury is a big supporter of Team Right, as you can see. So, Team Left, Team Right, who wants, so Team Left, do you want the Dark Rising, or Team Right, do you want the Bidden Light, or vice versa? I'll let Team Left and Team Right fight it out for the, the pack of their choice, as it were. I've just kicked the wall. Ow. That hurt. That really sucks. So, Team Left, do you want... Who, want, who wants which pack? That's, that's the question we're going with, though. Because I know which one was left and which one was right, but you guys don't know which one was left and which one was right. <laughs> This is getting out of hand, guys. There's a war for team left and team right. I need to put my legs on it. So, team. So wait. So who? So team. Uh, so team right. Which? Which pack are you having? Sorry. Pokemon just went live, by the way. They did. But what? What with? You might need to check that out, to be honest. I might need to stay on stream a bit longer and check that out. On Twitch? 
they don't normally go live on Twitch, they normally go live on YouTube. As in the official Pokemon channel. Yeah, they- oh, yeah, they are live! Oh yeah, they said they said they they said they'd be doing this from now on. Um, they they said they'd be live streaming episodes of the the thing, but I don't know if I, I don't know if this is like hinting towards other things as well. So basically, this is like. This is like their way of doing like a really cool news reveal and stuff like that. Like, obviously, I don't know if there'll be any big news. I thought it'd be like an announcement. Well, that's the thing. Like, they do update. There's a little overlay where they do updates and stuff on the side. So there might, be, there might be. I don't know if there is going to be any updates or anything or announcements. Um, it's like the overlay and stuff like that. Well, I can add their overlay to my channel and build it as an extension. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, I'm going to close that down for now then. Uh, always shiny hunting after the raid. Uh, after uh, this is this is the last raid and these are the last these are the last last pack. The last two packs are meant to be the last pack, but I'm going to let these be the last pack. So, Team Right, are you having Fairy Rise or are you having Forbidden Light? Which one do you want? We'll do Team Right first, and then Team Get Team Left gets the pack left. Uh, we'll go with Premier Ball. I'll throw in Premier Ball at all of them. So Team Right. You want fairy one looks sweet. Well, Shiny Greninja, since you came in so late, and obviously you haven't been here for much of it, I'll give Team Right the fairy one. And you are the team left. Let it go to the final pack. Well, let's, well that, that could be it. Like Whoever gets the absolute best card here could win the whole thing. I just want to say, guys, a big thank you to everyone who came out. Whether you came out from the start of the stream, or whether you've been, you know you've only just got here, I really do appreciate it. It really does mean a lot, and that's a no on all the shinies. I believe. Use Aussie me. I, I please don't. My living room is small, and I don't want everything destroyed. And Z moves are quite powerful, you know. Uh, so this is team right, team left. You're going to get the. Last Forbidden Light Pack. Last Forbidden Light Pack of the night. So fingers crossed we can get something good for you guys as well. You're fine without taking any. I am. Did I put a card to the front? I don't know. I think I did. Without revealing too much to myself. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Whew. But yeah, Spicy's basically been the uh, been the online uh, referee for the night. So we've got a beauty fly. I need to put these with the packs that way I remember which set they're from, otherwise. Shinotic. Lampant. This is the this is the Pokemon we got shiny. I'll uh, I'll go on to that as well just so that way. Greninja, you can see the Pokemon we got as a shiny tonight. Uh, I don't want to replace anything. So Pokemon! Gotta catch them all. Uh, there it is, Lampant. So that's the Pokemon we got tonight, Shiny. A handbag. Full power. Let's see what you've got. I think I've done the card trick right. Oh, there's something. Oh, oh. Another Mimikyu! No way. No way. Straight in a sleeve. No mucking around. Get in that sleeve, Mimikyu. Another Mimikyu. That is awesome. That is so cool. I don't know. I love them both, to be honest. But that is so cool. So we got... I think there's only, like... I think there's, like, one more. Vision 1, how you doing? Hey there. We've just been going through some packs. Um, we're actually coming to the very end of the stream, to be honest, my man. We've got one more pack to open, and then that's the stream over, but we've just pulled this amazing, amazing Mimikyu! 
from Fairy Rise. Like, that is an awesome... What a pack! I can't believe that. I think there's only one more Mimikyu we need, and it's the Rainbow Rare Mimikyu, so... This box is stacked with, with hitters, man. Like, this box is stacked with the hitters right now. Oh, my word. Mind, don't worry. I'm full of a cold anyway, so just a quick hello. Oh, I'm so sorry to you full of cold. Well, obviously, we'll be back again tomorrow, and we'll be doing more packs, and we'll be doing more live streaming. So definitely come back and hang out tomorrow, and uh, hopefully you'll be feeling better. If not, we'll look after you. We'll, uh, we'll make you laugh, I promise. So team left, this is it. This is, I think I might open a booster box myself. Definitely, definitely spicy. It's always worth it. I think it's a lot of fun. Of course, obviously, guys, if you haven't seen yet, then go check out um, my TikTok, my Instagram, and check out the About uh, the about Me on the, the Twitch page, because I have got a full stream schedule out now, and I'm going to try my best to stick to it. Um, I'm actually quite glad that we're wrapping up now, because my back is flaring up like mad, but it is because I'm leaning forward a lot while we're doing these. But let's, uh, let's not get down doom and gloom. We've got all of our, we've got our five regular viewers here, which is, I love saying that, by the way, guys. I love saying that we have five regular viewers. It, it feels so cool. Thank you so much. Uh, but we have got our last pack of the night. Team left. Can you pull an amazing hitter? And if you can pull the best hitter we've seen tonight, and I mean, we've seen a lot of hitters. We've seen some good cards. But if you can see the best, if you can pull the best card right now, I think we'll have to give it all to team left, just like my friend Cyan does on TikTok. So, We've got a Team Flare base, a Sligu, a, Sw a Swoopa, or a Swepa, or a Swoopa. Um, we've got a Froki, Froki, and then for the hitter, we have got, ooh, ooh, which way am I going to go? No, nope, we're going to go this way. Oh, we've got a Hollow. It's an Aurorus, though. It is a gorgeous card, but I'm afraid we're going to have to give that to Team Right tonight, because... It doesn't, Aurora's Hollow doesn't quite beat the final pull Mimikyu, which I think does mean Team Right wins the night. This has been an amazing night, guys. Thank you so much for coming out to the stream. Let me get this in a sleeve real quick while I wrap up. Thank you so much for coming out to the stream. Obviously, showing your support, getting involved, having fun with all these card pulls, and just in general having a nice, good chat with everyone. It's been so much fun. And I can't wait to do this all again tomorrow because we have still got, we have still got uh, all these fairy rise packs right here. We've got all these forbidden lights to go through. We have still got so many cards, and who knows how many hitters left in these boxes. So, like I say, guys, thank you so much for being a part of this. Thank you so much for showing your support and love to the channel because this is what it's all about for me: opening cards with you guys, getting to experience this, having so much fun. Pulling these hitters, like these Mimikyus, the, sh the Greninja, Shiny Greninja, my boy. Um, it means the world to me. So thank you so much for being here and enjoying this with me. Obviously, hopefully, maybe next time, maybe tomorrow, we can get like 10 or so many people in. And we can do a giveaway for the three cards that we've got left to give away. Our, sh our Snorlax V. Uh, our Garnivore EX. And our Machamp and Marshadow um tag team card so hopefully tomorrow night we can get even more people in and get these cards given away and i'd really love that yes i'm really glad that greninja got his card already fingers crossed it'll be a day or two and spicy and jonas will also get their cards and they can share with us how much they're enjoying them too uh obviously for tonight guys i'm going to say goodbye and stay shiny see you tomorrow at 7 p.m gmt take care